Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Listen, today, oh man, we got a special, special guest, Mr. Adrian Lopez is sitting here in the hot seat, boys. <laughs> no, thanks for having me, guys. How are you, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for coming by. No, I appreciate this you is having amazing. me. No, thank no, you for making no. that drive. It's a little bizarre being here, but... I think, <laughs> I think yes dude old zero pro fucking still oh my board. god st- mm-hmm. well that's true he's still fucking right now i'm just saying though the heyday yeah. right oh, yeah. fucking no, days. thrill of it all Hell fucking yeah. misled you misled, there you go there you go wow. so many good ones man yeah, iconic <laughs> yeah, iconic a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> speaking of driving up from san diego you're from down yeah, you're from yeah, san diego yeah, yeah. i'm in north county san diego now so it's uh carlsbad area it's close to like oceanside okay that, so but yeah been oh, there since 2001 but you were f- from sd yeah deeper so SD. Race. yeah yeah for sure so been down south um been like rancho penasquitas poway all over the kind of oh, kind wow. of bounced around until um about 2000, or no, sorry, um, until I got to like Poway's when I started skateboarding. That's kind of where I settled in. It's funny, I've never even heard of these places. <laughs> yeah, no, I've never yeah, even no, heard of like There's it, little pockets throughout San yeah, Diego. Yeah, I guess that, so. Yeah, people have, yeah. But how, now, how far away are these pockets from each other? Are they close or are they, because San Diego's not honestly, that big. I, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, yeah. At that time, I called it all San Diego. You know yeah. what I mean? Like wherever I live, gotcha. it's just San Diego. But um, yeah, they're all. 15 20 minutes tops from each other but, okay that's but yeah bad. so it's all yeah. you know to me it's all san diego i barely make it down there bro <laughs> yeah I barely not too many people do make yeah. it down there i'm the same way coming up here like i see that yeah. long beach sign and i'm like ooh, i get the jit i turn around yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean it's no, no. too far you start scared when you hunt too, guys get scared so i mean growing up i mean obviously you picked up your skateboard when what what, what year or i what say age? fourth fifth grade was when i picked it up so it was a little bit what is that 12 years old maybe like 10, like 10 years old yeah, about, yeah around 10 10 11 or yeah. so yeah so, okay so it's around then it's right before i just remember it was before going to middle school and that's when it really kicked in for me like fully fell in love with skateboarding oh wow sixth grade it was when you know yeah so it was a little off and on um for kind of going to how i started skateboarding it was or got into skateboarding it's you know obviously the typical your older brother had a board but it was just around and never really got into it. Okay. So um, at some point, um, I just, there's some guy in our neighborhood that just, I just gravitated towards. Oh. Uh, our neighborhood was a little mixing pot. It was like uh, um, government funded apartments, and which kind of brought in a mixed crowd of everybody, you know? So okay. it was like a little bit diverse. So, yeah. um, but there's one dude that just stood out. He was just a very pretty unique dude. And um, John Crumley I actually ran out not too long ago with, the, he was with Willie Santos. Um, Anyways, so he was the one standout dude in our neighborhood, and for for whatever reason it is, hmm. I kept my eye on him, and he was always skating around, and he was doing shit that I know, was just, even even though I look back on it now, I was just blown away. Like, I can't believe he was doing shit that was just way ahead of his time. So that was one thing where um, I just remember seeing with all the people in our neighborhood or whatever, there was this one dude that just was skating. And then um, was he the same age as you, or the no, no, no? Older? He was definitely older definitely, for sure. Okay. Yeah, he was probably my older brother's age. Which you know, it's kind of honestly, it was one of those things where I think I went between being you know looking up to my older brother mm-hmm. and then seeing this dude. It was one of those things where I was like, man, this dude's cool and he's doing this and whatever. And oh, then okay. um, yeah, and then uh, honestly, he ended up having this pretty hot chick in our neighborhood too, <laughs> where I kind of put two and two together. And I just honestly, it was one of those things where I literally was just like, oh fuck, man, like. All this stuff I've been seeing before or whatever. It's yeah. like, wow, this dude's yeah. So I was fascinated by what this dude His is skateboarding doing. and yeah. he's pulling in these hot chicks. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. Well, it sounds good. <laughs> Who was better at the time? Your brother? He was older than you. Yeah. So he was. He was yeah. I mean, he, he, I don't think he ever really got into it. Okay. He was, yeah, it was one of those things where he, uh, my mom got him a board and it just sat around. Yeah. You know, oh, gotcha. so I, I'd seen it there and whatever, but yeah. it wasn't until I actually saw this dude, uh, Mike Crumley, mm. skateboarding mm-hmm. and doing his thing where I was like, fuck, man, that's really cool. And how does he do it? And, yeah. You know, so that's when I, started uh looking into things were there other kids in your school that were skating as well because it is this guy's older than you at the time yeah i mean didn't... there was there was uh people skateboarding but it, not in my crowd you know okay. so it wasn't until i got my first board and um i just yeah fell in love with that shit instantly you know so it after that 
it became not, nothing else mattered, you know, any, anything I was into before. So that became kind of um, how I made my friends moving forward. Gotcha. You know, and it really took me out of what was going on in my neighborhood and all that kind of shit, which was cool. And yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, so yeah, it's just rap. Do you remember your first board? Yeah, I do actually. It was a uh, um, first real board yeah. was uh, John Montesi. A uh, John Montesi. Yes, super, ran- super random. But actually, yeah, I caught up with him not too long ago about that one. But he, uh, yeah, it was, uh, just remember walking to the skate shop. It was the first time I actually got to pick any board I wanted. It was obviously just graphic based and sure. whatever. But um, it's the only it weird was, alien on it. No, you know what it was? It was <laughs> full like graffiti, like yeah, it's like bottom. Of, yeah, it's yep. like bottom. Then moving forward, obviously you're you're getting better at skating. You're yeah. getting better. Yeah, no. Was yeah, there was, like a skate shop that was? Yeah, uh, no, for sure. I fell in love with it, and that just became it. You know, I was really into soccer and everything before that, and then um, yeah, all of a sudden, you know, everything gravitated to skateboard, and all mm-hmm. my friends were that, and um, my crew was. I, I I I honestly was very lucky. I fell into a good crew of uh, friends who were really into skateboarding. Yeah, they you know after you know I don't think we jumped into straight filming and all that stuff right away, but. Um, we took it pretty serious as far as us really loving skateboarding. So it was like one of those things where we imitated our, our favorite pros and sure. all that kind of shit. And, you know, hope, you know, if there was a, happened to be a demo or something in town, we'd chase it out however far it was. We'd oh, make wow. a point to try and go and check that kind of stuff out. Yeah. Do you remember the first pro you ever met? First pro? I would probably say Willie Santos. Really? Yeah, because I used to skate this uh, in Rancho Bernardo. It was a web park. And he would be there. Just fucking it up. Yeah, he'd oh. fucking is destroy the, it. Is that the park with all the ledges? The, the benches yeah, down yeah, the yeah, stairs. Yeah, it's real rough. And like, yeah. it was an amazing yeah. spot, though. You know, if you figured out how to skateboard there is. Oh, the one in his uh, birdhouse park where yeah. he kept yeah. his... Yeah, oh. yeah exactly. Yep. I always wanted to go there. Yeah, no, this, dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, I wish there were spots like that. These like, days, that bench like, looked heavy to put down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, no yeah. one's going to move it back. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an old deal. What was the skate shop you were going, first went to when you were... Uh, Wave Lines. Yeah, it was actually this one in uh, Carmel Valley, like Carmel Ranch. And um, it just had popped open. And at that time, I actually was a little bit older. I think 13-ish, 12 ish or so. And I was uh, actually maybe 13, 14 at skating mm-hmm. with um, Mike Fitzgerald. Some of you guys might know oh, from yeah. Trans World, oh, yeah. Yeah. Blair Alley and all those guys. And then, um, the, yeah, this shop opened up. And uh, before they even opened up, we just started localizing it and just made it our home. And eventually they told us, like, hey, we, we did what you guys are doing. And we want to hook you up with the boards or whatever. Oh, really? Discount, yeah. I mean, it was discount. It's discount, yeah, yeah, sure, that sure, kind of sure. Stuff, so, but we thought we made it then, so. <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> so, so sick. But at this time now, are you filming videos and stuff? Yeah, you know what? I mean, a couple of our couple of our buddies had cameras, so we we were always like just whenever we had a camera, we just fucking milked it. You know, filming we, each yeah, other. We just yeah. love that shit. So we made our own little home videos and all that kind of stuff. And Dope. I'm sure we showed it to the shop or whatever, but just keep that discount going. Yeah, just, exactly. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, keep up. that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe yeah. you get another percent on that discount. Yeah, yeah. that was huge. But um, so were, were you were you trying to uh, actively get sponsored? No, no, it, it just happened with everybody filming. I think filming was just one thing in its own. It's just like, hey, so we could check ourselves out later and right. yeah, see yeah. how it goes. But um, no, I don't think that was until later on. We just, um, I think for me personally, it was more when I ran into a um, couple, couple pros along the way is when it actually got planted in my head, like, oh, that could actually... Do something with that. Yeah, because I was so, going to say, like, Dan, down there, you got Willie Santos. I mean, yeah, the, yeah, the no, scene's that's popping what I'm saying, down yeah, there. Yeah, so at the same time, it's not it, like this far-fetched thing, No, that's what right? I mean, but at the same time, I looked at it where it's like, I'd go to Webb Park, you know, the, the spot I'd skate all the mm-hmm. time, and there'd be pros there every weekend. You know, I'd skate there, you know, during the week or whatever, but weekends, we'd have all these people coming through, so... I never got too jaded on thinking like, oh, you just got to beat somebody and whatever, you know, right. it's like, man, okay, okay, well, I'm fortunate. I see all these guys all the time, but um, it just never really hit me that I could be part of that. that uh, it was almost like you were taking it for granted a little bit. They're always there. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah, no, it wasn't sure. like a big deal. No, it wasn't sure. a big deal. Yeah, no, I don't know if it was more big deal. It was more, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I just saw them on the regs where I was like, man, like they're just so fucking good. And then they got yeah. their thing going. I'm not going to try even, you know, whatever. Sure. I just didn't see myself going that route. Right. You, you ever buy stickers from Willie? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I have. <laughs> I love Willie, though. That's the thing. I, I, I know the stories they've all gotten around. And, yeah, you know, he's had its moments. But Willie was one of those dudes where he, he took the time. Yeah, 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 hustle. Hey, yeah. I, swear, I wish I learned you know, a few pointers on you know, yeah. saving and whatever else from that guy. But he 
you know, he took the time to pick up a lot of people, take them skating spots that they would have never got to skate because they'd just been stuck in their bubble. So sure, yeah, he, he's uh, yeah, he charged you some stickers <laughs> <and stuff laughs> along the way, but no, he's a great dude. So yeah, what yeah. is that? No, but I mean, I think we all went through selling shit. Yeah, like, no, I would sell, sure. yeah. but I mean, what was it like a dollar per sticker? Yeah, like a buck? Yeah, yeah. He would sell you a whole. I think that yeah, yeah. Pack, I think it was a dollar, but then yeah, maybe the hookups ones are a little nicer. So oh. a little, a little up, we'll have Willie on and, and talk about his uh, <laughs> entrepreneurship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, so are, are, were you going to LA back and forth at this point in time, um, or were you still kind of stuck down there? I mean, I'd, what, I'd make 14, my trips to LA. 15? I mean, we always had a couple friends in our group that had cars, gotcha. and we'd always like, you know, whenever we could, we'd make it up to LA and skate all the all the girl spots and all that stuff. Like, okay. we'd go to Santa Monica and, mm -hmm. and the courthouse and all that stuff. Yeah, and it was at the time too where I, I remember, like, you know, we, especially me, I was definitely the younger dude in our group where. I couldn't even tell my mom that I was going to LA. That was one of those things where it's like, You'd be grounded. You know, yeah. Just going to the skate shop, mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. two hours drive. Yeah. Cool. You're fucking in LA. Um, yeah. But that's just how it goes, right? You got to get, you just, what are you going to just leave you at the, uh, was it was spot that you, you skate all the time? Web. Web. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Skate yeah. Skate that was, I mean, that was early yourself? on. I think it, that once I got to the age where I realized, you know, you could take city buses and all that shit. Sure. That was a big one for me. It was, I, I, um, Took city buses around San Diego. You get a bus pass? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. That's how. So I, you got to pay for transfers and all that. No, much. no, that, that's the thing. One bus pass. Where I was at too to even get to like, um, you know, when once I hooked up with Jamie, like that's what I did for about two years was literally bus ride. I'd save my save all my money from Monday through Friday, my lunch money, and uh -huh. then every Friday I'd take the bus to Jamie's house and PB stay there the weekend return sunday night what's thing, pb so. pacific, pacific beach, beach. Yeah. Pacific beach. That's where jamie yeah that's where jamie was when he how uh, far is that from your, oh, that's, your spot that's if you're just driving that's yeah. probably 35 minutes or so, so. that's a long oh. bus ride yeah I, yeah it's a good hour ride, no. hour and a half oh no? bus ride yeah no that's like you gotta yeah, stop you every gotta block transfers and all sure. that. So longer than that i would say damn but but yeah so i uh, but uh, that's how i got around and i made sure i skated all over and yeah. pb like, back then had a lot of spots huh oh yeah no first that's what i mean it's like dude once you made it to jamie's house or pb in general it's like there's shit there hmm. took the bus downtown san diego skipped all day well it sounds to me like you're taking the bus what by yourself what yeah. do you so yep all your friends didn't skate anymore well no at that point I had, I had hooked up with jamie where i made it a mission like it was one of those things where he was um he was working on welcome to hell and I, at that time i was actually on flow for uh toy machine so for me, it was like I was making, I was venturing out there for biz. You know, I yeah, was like, gotcha. fuck, I, I was like, you know, I had my head fucking as stupid as I might have thought I was going to for, you know, toy machine, toy machine. fucking welcome health crew. Where, sure. You know, hanging out with my friends was, you know, one of those things where they, they all, uh, they were still skating, you know, but they, they knew all that. You were like, going on your own mission. I could, you know, like potentially ride for this or whatever may and you come. can't bring your whole buddies with no, you on those trips no, 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 like, I wasn't they'll that be dude like anyways. this dude's a kook yeah, no, all I wasn't that dude I was so nervous to even be in that mix anyways sure. I mean for it's I mean it was insane you know one of those things where yeah it, you know miss the crew I mean do we have like I said we had such a solid crew we all filmed each other made mm -hmm. all these videos but I think once I linked out with Jamie, it was just one of those things where like, fuck, I'm going for it. No animosity Venture. between the friends. No, not at all. No, no, no. no were no. they going out? Were so they sponsored too? No, 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 they like, were, no? I'm talking, these are guys like even like Mike Fitzgerald and Blair, Blair okay. Alley, who are now in trip. Like sure. they knew it. They were just like gotcha. stoked for me. I'd yeah. be, I'd go out and venture and, um, stay with Jamie over those weekends, but I'd be skating with the gnarliest dudes, you know, your Artos and whoever oh, yeah. came about with that mix and, you know that'd be my weekend and come monday i'd be have stories for days for all everybody <laughs> sure. it's just free, you know there's one of those things where like you're just were you on entity entity before yeah oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah no for sure yeah, yeah yeah so yeah that that i was on entity for about six months or so before i met you know jamie and the toy camp mm -hmm. so i was riding with those dudes for a bit yeah. how did you get on entity um uh, through willie like uh, actually not through willie but i was skating with willie and it was um it was me jason carney and this dude uh, Jim, june kate mm -hmm. okay he was the main pro on uh, entity and he um i don't know we just we skated that day and we were screwed around and I ended up filling a bunch of stuff and then at the end of the day he just he's like hey what do you think about getting free boards and i'd like of course, I was just, I didn't even know how to register that. I was just like, fuck, that'd be amazing. You yeah. know, whatever. And he didn't really finish up what he was going to say. So, um, yeah, after that day, he just kind of, well, you know, I'd be stoked to maybe send you some boards or whatever. And nothing really happened for a few weeks. So I kind of was fucking just tripping, like, like, <laughs> 
talk to my friends. I don't know. Should I hit them up? Like, yeah. da, 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 whatever. Should I go get another board yeah, and discount no, dude, rate saying, or should dude, I go? Yeah. yeah. So I, like, I thought something was coming and then, um, three or four weeks later. Yeah. They, I swear I hit him up. I think he was just probably working it out, but I was just like, fuck man. Like this dude told me, like, I thought I was like, Oh man, this is my sure. first fucking go. So I hit him up and then, um, he never hit me back, but then all of a sudden a box showed up my house and it was a welcome note and all that kind of stuff. That's right. So like a welcome to the yeah, team. Yeah, welcome to the team. Oh, wow. yeah, God doesn't congrats. call you back and no, just no, so right so, to a so, note. So, yeah, I show up. Well, actually, you know, it's actually funny. My older brother, I got home. Yeah, I got home and he had went through the shit already. <laughs> he, you know, yeah, he opened it up. <laughs> it didn't even have his name on. No, it. no, didn't have his name on. He knew he, what he it was. Kind of knew what it was. Yeah, so sure. he's like, look side or whatever. And I come up. He's like, you got all this fucking da, 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 da. like you know. I think there was like three boards and a couple sets of wheels and stickers or whatever. Well, that's but what then, you think. Yeah, yeah, yeah you could have got it. Could have Could have been a lot more. Yeah. So then, yeah. So I got home and dude, I was mine was blown. I mean, dude, I I fucking saw that thing. I looked at that thing on my bed for like an hour and a half like just like <laughs> how old were you didn't want to touch point? it um god i was probably like 13 14 then oh so this yeah. is kind of happening pretty quick it, every, that's you. the thing dude from when i started skateboarding yeah. and actually like it just happened quick i swear it's like yeah it happened really really fast you know so you must have been the best dude in your crew i mean you I, must have I, surpassed them i was skating i mean we were skating flat ground and stuff so yeah, yeah. I, I think i had my you know yeah you know i i think i Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were doing well. You yeah, doing, it, was doing but it, did, it did happen quick. So it's like all this shit was just. It was a lot, lot to deal with, and and just very exciting. I mean, you know, I mean, sure. I, I went from like watching all these dudes in the mag to literally like overnight. Like I'm literally staying at Jamie Thomas's house, and and. I'm, you know, or whatever. I mean, even before that, like I'm with Willie Santos and Jason Carney, stickers, and then yeah. and this and that, and then thrown into like oh shit you're you know you're talking with jamie thomas and the toy machine dudes and this and that it's, well how did that just, come about that one that, that was like like i said i was on uh, entity for about six months and okay. i made my rounds throughout san diego everywhere and i maybe ran into jamie once or twice before i formally met him okay he was actually at web park like uh, a couple weeks before i properly met him huh. and um, you knew who he was yeah uh, you know what i did it was right after it was right before his um his trans world interview with the like you know where he shaves his, his head, head and all yeah. that shit so i didn't catch that till after the fact after everybody told me like oh that's so and so i remember he's had this you know he's rad though i remember just seeing him like fuck dude that's like i haven't seen anybody skating looks like that and that way sledges and whatever so i was definitely intrigued and then it wasn't until a few weeks later just by chance i ran into him at um sarah high school in terrasano which okay. is like all the ledges yeah the yeah, ledges, ledges. Yeah. a lot of peter yeah. smollick's willie stuff like yeah. Uh, mm. yeah it's fun super fun spot that, that was our go-to and um i was filming with the buddy and um he showed up i think he had another toy member with him and then uh yeah as i was filming i was filming with my buddy he just um asked to film me instead of my buddy he's just like hey do you mind if i film him <laughs> That's so sick. Yeah, so I, dude, I was Jamie like, move right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah so I, I think in his, yeah, he maybe didn't like what the dude was filming or whatever, whatever reason it was. It was pretty insane, though, because it's just like mid session and I was filming and he just said, hey, like, you know, I, I'd like to film you. And I was like, fucking, yeah. You know, this like, was the like, filmer. You know, this yeah. was who was filming Jamie or Jamie said Jamie that to you? To no, Jamie yeah. Thomas wanted to film yeah, you. Yeah, Jamie Thomas. Yeah, he, he just said, he's like, hey, man, like, I like, yeah, I like your skating. Like, let me, uh, let me film you. Let me see what was your on. style back then? When you dude, were like was, 14 years old, dude, were you, it, it were was, you hesh? I was straight. You, no, no, dude. My, my thing, I swear. It's were you like, fresh or were you, oh, dude, what was going on? I would, if I, before I met Jamie Thomas, I swear to God, like, and it's, I wanted to ride for Menace or something. That random, was your shit. Which is a weird thing. No, I, no, and, that's and, dope. It was a very short stint of time where I, like I really thought like, oh, maybe I could ride for something. It was very short okay. time that before I like trying to figure Dude. it out. But it was it was Menace. I wanted to ride for Menace. It's a great team. You know what I mean, great it's, squad. It's like, <laughs> it was one thing. So as random as that is, but no, yeah, it's so, fuck, dude, it's dope. So, oh yeah, no, I fuck. So you kind of had the little yeah, fresh, no, 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 maybe kind of like, if, if like you, baggy if you, shit yeah. going I feel like, on. I feel like yeah. you, was a, you, were, you were baggy pants and like a smaller shirt kind of. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, no, for sure. I mean, even, if you, look, even if you look at like, say, you know, like Thrill of It All video, it, mm -hmm. it, there's not one rail trick in there except for the last trick, there you know, go. and that's yeah. not even a rail trick. It's, it's just flat out, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. So for me, maybe we'll get into that later, but I, I fucking hated the thrill of it all part so it was for me but you it was did. after that yeah yeah for for me it was after that is when i really decided like hey like i love skating the stuff i was skating in in, in uh, thrill of it all but yeah. as far as what i put out 
I wanted it to be a little more comparable to, for me, I, like I said, I wanted a rifle toy machine, you know, so Welcome Hell was the, the newest, hottest shit. So anything that wasn't comparable to that, to me, was kind of like, you know, like, what the fuck? So um, it wasn't until after Thrill of It All is when I kind of switched. And it wasn't so much I switched how I look and whatever. And, you know, I mean, I always wore dickies and, blah, 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 yeah. you know, whatever, all that shit. But it was like, hey, like, I, I appreciate the skateboarding these dudes I'm rolling with and I'm going to jump on some of their shit. Now, was it after you saw the video? Like, after you saw your part and everything, you were like, you know what? Yes. I don't like this. This I, isn't really. Yeah. No, no, I but, hated Thrill of It All. But what? Yeah, but that but, was like your. No, no, and here, here's the thing, I, and I get it. No, here's no, I could appreciate it now. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like okay. back then we didn't have social media. We had Slap Mag to tell you, you fucking suck. Sure. You know, that's yeah, it. Of course. Like now, right. now you got DMs and you got people. No, telling we still you, got Slap Mag. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, I was, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But but now you have to, you know, you have people. I, I get it now. You know, they, people appreciate what we did because it's a different approach or different look whatever it is right but at that time like i said i was so gung-ho on like hey i'm a if i'm you know i want to ride for toy machine sure and, and i want you know like if i'm going to try and do this whole sponsor thing is i want to ride for the best shit right. and that was the video that kind of followed that so yep. in my eyes it was just i don't know it's one of those ones where you know we put it out i think it was more to kind of get zero out there going yeah yeah you yeah. know and uh yeah it was a tough one for me because uh yeah like i remember even the did the, you feel the like first you, premiere. go ahead i'm sorry yeah no no i mean the even, the, even the first premiere like we i remember uh we flew out it was like uh new york like upstate new york jamie stayed back because he had to finish up some last minute tweaks editing okay you know, he wasn't happy with that part so <laughs> okay we we flew out it was me ellington Coleman, whoever else was on that mix and um yeah, I remember getting to that sh first shop that we were premiering it, and like that was the first time I was like, "Fuck!" Like, okay, so I knew what I was gonna do. I was like, the video came on, and as the credits came on, I knew where my section was, and I just backed myself out of the just shop. <laughs> yeah. and it, it's one of those things where, I'd like, and I look at it now, and I'm not fishing for compliments. I, sure. I get it. People kind of, you know, they appreciate it now, but to me, that was, yeah, that was that's that's why I switched skateboarding in a different direction yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and whatever, but. But here you are, thrill of it all. It's it's a zero video. <clears throat> was it something like maybe like I like you felt like you didn't fit in with the, all these other guys, or was it more no. of like your own, just your own? Yeah, it's, it's a personal thing. Uh, yeah, for me, I, I've because here's been, Jamie Thomas, you know, doing his shit. Yeah, no, for sure. You know? I, no, no, I, I and here's you. Everybody, like, I appreciate it. Everybody's part is more of a personal thing. Personal yeah, thing. Yeah, definitely personal. Thing. Oh, okay. Did, did you right. choose the song? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great See, choice. Yeah. That's the thing. Where, where it was a Jamie, great part. Dude, Jamie, Jamie was very good about like, you know, he, you know, when it came to editing parts and all that shit, mm -hmm. you were a big part of that, like throughout the way and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that that's a big part of, um, yeah, Jamie's thing is like, yeah, he puts together great videos, right. you know, yeah. and whether you pulled your weight or whatever else, you're still in the zero video and all that stuff. Totally. So with Thrill of It All, yeah, I looked at that to me, that was like fuck you can't do that again like let's but at least you know. it like lit a fire under your ass yeah, right? yeah, no, it was sure. just like yeah, dude yeah, i gotta sure, fucking sure. step it up for the next one yeah for sure wow yeah. going back really quick though we didn't really touch on how the whole toy machine thing came around i assume you were hanging out with jamie and oh, yeah, that, yeah. getting boards from yeah toy that, machine. That, that came about when i um, uh when i met up with him that same day that he asked me to film with him you uh -huh. know i just gotten on um entity i was on there for a few months maybe uh -huh. like four or five months or so something like that and after he filmed, he filmed a couple things that day, and then he just said, "Okay, we're um, now we're in the process of looking for new AMs for Toy Machine right now. We have, I think he wanted to say he had Bam in the mix already. Mm. I'm not sure if that came later or whatever, but I thought there was somebody else in there. But uh, once he planted that seed that day, it was just kind of like, okay, I went home and and I had told him that day, I'm like, no man, I'm stoked. You know, I'm just psyched. I'm getting boards or whatever and whatever, you know. So then, um, yeah, that that he said that, and it turned into a whole different thing. It was just like, man, like I could write for the fucking best yeah. motherfuckers out. And at that time, dude, I'm t you know, it was heavy squad. To mm -hmm. where, like, yeah. I remember, you know, running to, into those guys in um, San Diego where they'd all hop out of Jamie's car and. It was like looking at like Navy SEALs jumping out of the fucking <laughs> like, Green Berets and shit. I swear, you're just like, whoa, like, you know, and, and being in San Diego, you see all these dudes, you see the alien dudes, you see the, you know, you have different squads. And mm -hmm. where I remember seeing that crew out and about, where is it fucking strictly biz? You know what I mean? It was just one of the things where I was just like, man, that's, 
pretty amazing. You know, they roll in and they fucking, yeah, no, it was just. They uh, handle their business. Yeah, and I'm not, not saying they were fucking robots and they're doing it, but it was just, dude, they had, that team was just insane. Was I mean, stacked, Barley, like yeah. everybody, oh you know, Maldonado, all these heavy hitters that yeah. like covered every ground of skateboarding where mm -hmm. to me, I was just like. Fuck. So did you know that they were filming uh, Welcome to Hell? Yeah, it, I mean, it was probably after the fact. I didn't know too much about, I, I did my homework a little bit more so after I met Jamie and then. Um, you know, big fan of heavy metal video, you know, and that was, that was where I was like, you know, I kind of looked up like, man, like, how do I fit in with these dudes? You know, this is before hmm. I was even skating okay. rails or like doing whatever. I was like, but I was like, well, I'll give it a go. But I looked at dudes that are like Sattva and, and, you know, just, you know, certain characters. I was like, man, maybe they had, you know, maybe, maybe this could, you know, could work sure, out or yeah. whatever. So. I hung on to that for a while, and then um, I love that Kalish went road for Toy Machine. That's yeah, a, me too, dude. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, sick. so yeah, I fell in love with Toy Machine while he was still on. Mm -hmm. I remember this day going to ASR trade show as a kid, not even um, like literally having asked someone to, for a pass to get in and all that shit, and overhearing Josh Kalish quitting Toy Machine to Ed at that trade show, Whoa. which tweaked my head. I was no just like, way. yeah, I'm just like no this little kid, like, kind of like. I know Jamie, I'm not supposed to know this, and, da, 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 da. and yeah, so um, I knew there were some big changes coming at Toy Machine, and, yeah. And, and so you thought, maybe this is your chance, maybe yeah, I can get in no, there. No, yeah, fuck <laughs> hey, dude, yeah, people are kind of hey, leaving and going mm -hmm. in, yeah, so I was like. So what happened? You didn't get in there? Um, yeah, no, so, and then eventually, I mean, it just, I dude, like I said, I, I take the bus every fucking weekend to sure. Jamie, skate, film, whatever, but eventually once Toy Machine came out, even pr before that, you know, Jamie had started mentioning, like, hey, like, you know, this is, I love Toy Machine, but I'm going to do my own thing. You know, like he was already, yeah, it was saying already, it. It was already like already ready to do something. So maybe before. he didn't even want to have you get on Toy Machine and have no, to quit. No, 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 no. It, it got to no. I, I got like you know, even through personals and stuff like your your Muskas and all them. They they got me the vote. You know, what I mean, there was a yeah. few heads like even uh, Ed has told me like, hey, if you know, it, very early on, like, hey, if something doesn't happen with this, you know, the the zero thing. We got you, you know. Oh wow, so, oh, that's cool. So it was always like this communication kind of under the, the the you know under the radar. So it was not. kind of already an understanding, like, hey, Jamie's going to go off and do this thing. It was all in the this same is, roof, though. Still, yeah, yeah, well, it was some yeah, yeah, yeah. So true, it was some true, but it's still it's yeah. different. I mean, yeah. that was a was a video coming out already, or had it already dropped? Oh, it already dropped. It yeah. already so, dropped. So it was already kind of established, like, hey, like we whether it's you, Bam was a contender. But at that point, like when I finally figured, like we had to kind of figure out, like, okay, what's going on? Mm -hmm. It was like, okay, well, Bam's been on the flow program for for uh for a while we're right. gonna we're gonna fuck with him first and then you're up so it became one of those things where it's just like okay but i already knew jamie was leaving and i knew he was the biggest factor of that camp oh, i mean dude he right. yeah he was toy machine as far as putting those dudes together and making yeah. filming video happen filming and all video, this. oh dude 100 yeah. i mean the dude had like yeah all those dudes living at his house filmed every fucking one of them and it, it was insane so i i I think when he figured, like, and he started pitching the zero thing to me where I was like, dude, I loved it. You know what I mean? To me, it was like, oh, fuck, I, I think this is cool. And I told my buddies about it at school and we were mm -hmm. stoked. But still, I was so dead set. I felt like it'd be a failure if I didn't make it on Toy Machine, you know, to the right. point where it was very difficult to kind of like shift my head around. Yeah, but here's this thing. You get on Toy Machine and then all of a sudden you got to quit and go to the, yeah, yeah, you know, no, or no, switch sure. over. And yeah. it's a whole no, no. thing. And, I, and kinda... I look back at it now, I wasn't ready for Toy Machine. So no. that's, that, that's, that's the thing. That's the main thing. I'm, I'm stoked that it all worked out the same way it did. It's because everything happens for a reason. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. No, but you, you, you had a couple tricks in Welcome to Hell, right? Yeah, just a friend section. I think yeah, you guys yeah. bought this in the same part. We're in the same video, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm in the... <laughs> got, oh, yeah, no shit. Yeah, I got That's you. My, uh, that was the first video I was ever in. No shit. Yeah. Got it. Look at that, huh? Yeah, no Who shit. Who would have thought we had something yeah, in right. clear yeah. that, huh? No shit. So, Entity Video comes out, then for... I mean, I'm sorry. Entity Video comes out, then Three. get a couple clips in Toy Machine, Welcome yeah. to Hell, then you're filming for the for Zero. Zero, Zero video. Video. Yeah, Thrill of It All. Now, when you're on, how does how does it how does it go down with Jamie? Like he's like, okay, I'm I left, I'm starting zero. Yep, calls you up. Let's Wasn't do it, is this. there going to be a clothing brand at first? Yeah, that's how it first started. I, and I yeah. think that was more to so Jamie could promote it while still being part of a toy machine. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it was it was a zero a division of toy machine. Yeah, like that's what the like so the neck labels actually said. Hooded sweatshirts. Yeah, and shirts. Oh, it actually said yeah. a division said, of toy it machine. Said, um, oh. Yeah, it said zero skateboards a division by Jamie Thomas through toy machine were you like the first so, dude on the team yeah i was definitely the first dude on the squad but i think because of my hesitation it was kind of like it was a little bit of a teeter-totter on, on on how it went down oh, I, so I swear, you were I, actually i don't, don't want to quote it but yeah no i i want to say i got on zero and even quit at some point like before <laughs> on it was one of those things where i was so fucking bummed that it was like 
one, I was bummed that Jamie, like, I'll be real right now. I sure. was bummed that Jamie was leaving Toy Machine. Yeah. It was like, yeah. fuck, like, what are you doing? Like, Toy Machine, you just. It's the best. It's the best it's shit right now. Yeah. So, you know, when, when it came about, I was, you know, I was like, you know, a little bummed on that. But then right. at the same time, I, I still, I, the name I still loved, you know, Zero. I was like, fuck, that's pretty cool. It's a good and name, it was yeah. black yeah. and white. And, you know, it had this heavy, like, you know, kind of a heavy metal feel to it, mm -hmm. which I was all, you know, really into Metallica. Yeah, so it took growing on me a little bit. Okay. You know, where I think, you know, Ellington and uh, Copelman and a couple other dudes were on there, and I think they were dead set. You know, it was like, all right, this is fucking, we're go time. And then, you know, it took me a little while. It wasn't long. It wasn't, wasn't long, long, though. Yeah, it was yeah. once I decided, all right, dude, I'm, you know, I'm, we're going to do this. Right. And that was it. Yeah. You know? How long did you uh, film for Thrill of It All for? I don't know. I don't know lengthwise, but it was definitely one of those things where it came up like, hey, guys, we need to put something out and just, you know, introduce ourselves so i don't know sure. six to eight months i would think i don't know pretty fast. that's pretty yeah. damn yeah. fast it wasn't too long but if you're on that jamie's one. program that's true oh, yeah. you should that's done. true oh yeah dude especially back then yeah, yeah. that was like all of san diego basically right yeah it was very yeah very low budge fucking local vid but yeah thrill of it all comes out yep right mm -hmm. it's got to be a change in your life that this video drops. I mean, it was a, it was it is, a big yeah. video. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, no, it set sure. the tone. Oh yeah. No, no, for around. sure. No, no. I, I remember that instantly. Like, yeah, it was one of those things too, where I'm a very private, uh, not private dude, but like, I like skating alone. I don't sure. want that. You know, I don't need that attention. I don't want it. Um, but yeah, I remember actually going to one of my local spots for the first time in uh, PQ. It's called Rolling Hills. And they actually did like, you know, small, like all those dudes, you skate their bunch. Okay. And it was shortly after that where I first realized, like, okay, shit's a little changed now. It's like, changed. you know, there's, like, kids watching to see what you're going to do. And, you know, that eyeballs, you start feeling that kind of shit. So, mm -hmm. and that, to me, was, um, honestly, it was a negative thing. Like, it, 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 it took a lot for me to adjust where, like, I, I remember many times, like, going to that same spot and actually sitting in front in my car for like hour and a half waiting for every last like and not and it was not trying to pretend like i was some tom penny no, no, or, it's craze your own, or whatever it's, it's your in own, my head you know what i mean yeah, it's just of like course. okay whatever where i notice is different you know you go there and they're like talking about this and that whatever to and you just feel the eyeballs on yeah you, oh, you dude, feel them like on pins you, and needles for you know me, and so, now yeah. you're you're questioning your crooked grind yeah exactly you know what i mean yeah, like yep, bro, yeah. bro i went through the whole yep I, I, I yeah, I'm not. A, I'm the same way. I don't yep. like the attention. No. I just wish I could go there and just be a regular yep. old Joe. Yep. Nobody knows. Dude, goddamn crooked grind. Yeah. No you know shit. what I'm saying? Yep. Doesn't want the attention, but he has his own talk show now. Yeah. yeah no shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, no. can't Listen. go to Whole Foods without getting like paparazzi yeah. on him. <laughs> so, but but this, how, when did it change? Did, did you still feel that way, or when did? did yeah. Or did no, you have to I, get I do, used to I, it? No matter what, that's what I'm saying. It's like it doesn't matter if it, you know I'm in the heyday or whatever. Sure. It's fucking two eyeballs, and I feel them, and yeah, it's not yeah, a bad yeah. thing. I mean, dude, nobody gives a shit. But sure. Yeah. I. I um, yeah, that's something. It affects else. you though. Yeah, yeah, for it's sure. hard to. Perf what about demos and stuff though? Would demos. You, uh, demo? I, mean, dude, I mean, everybody's I would, skating I out say there. I was with a you. demo guy, but I, I had my moments. The other days where you feel confident and you just go out there and you have your head cleared. Yeah. But I, I, I will probably be the first to say, and, and I let my own head get the worst of me yeah. by far. Like sure. you know, whether it came to video parts and skating and everything else, I was the worst critic. You know, yeah. so. I think those situations became a little more difficult as I questioned myself. Right. You know? So right. it was difficult. I think a lot of skaters go through that. Yeah. Though. I, I, you yeah, know, it's, it's, I went it's through it. Not you know? everybody's, not everybody's that dude. You know I mean? Well, you're put on a platform. You're put on a pedestal now, yep. you know, and it's a very hard, some people love it. Some people adjust to it uh, quickly. Yep. They want it. Not for sure. And other people, oh, they want to fly under the radar. You yep. know, I'm a fly under the radar guy. Well, that time okay. too, level of skateboarding was getting kind of gnarlier and gnarlier and you yeah. had to step up. Yeah, and, no, no, for sure. Jamie keeps pushing the line. Yeah, yeah, you're on yeah. Jamie. Yeah. I, I think, that, I, honestly, I think that's why Jamie and I, like we, our relationship was been, has been so solid. It's like, you know, Jamie, we're polar, we're opposites. You know, mm -hmm. like obviously Jamie, he's an attention dude. He, he feeds he'll admit it. it. You know what I mean? Right. He's one of those dudes where he's a, you know, it's a park shark back in the day. And, you know, he was that figure that wanted to be that leader role where yeah. for me, I just wanted to film video parts. I didn't want, I didn't care about the fucking premiere. I didn't care about the, this and that and whatever. So I was able to do my thing and just not really, you know, right. compete with people in, in that sense, you know, where a, hey, you know, there's not just Jamie, but other cats that want to have this certain role in the team, you know, go ahead. I, I, I was more of a fan of like, your Ricky Ayolas and, and your, your, you know, Fred Goals and your fucking, you know, those right. dudes that are just, you know, where I didn't care about that part, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It was yeah. never a competition of like who, 
you know, if Ellington or Greco or somebody's going to fuck, you know, I was just stoked for those dudes. You know, sure. if you want that, you know what I mean? Like, hey, you know, all good. So Go for, I, for yeah. me, it was, I had a pretty solid position on Zero. It was like, hey, you, you, you film your video parts. You, of course, you got to do your fucking magazine coverage mm -hmm. and you travel, you know, and I right. think with Zero and Circo, I was always traveling. So... Yeah, I was able to kind of slide, not not slide in the rail. I, I did my thing. I think I made a name for myself, but it was never like, I was never trying to be some big fucking, you know. I love that big though, dude. because you were big, but you were not that yeah, dude no, though. I, yeah, it was never like a, like um, your Reynolds and you know what I'm saying? It's, there's different tiers and stuff and I was sure. happy to be right, you know, in that, that, yeah. that ground. You right, know? right. So, you just mentioned Ricky and Fred Gall. Ah, uh -huh. yep. Um, oh yeah, Eastern Exposure. I mean that. I was gonna ask you about Sub Zero video. Did you did you ever see that? I did, but Eastern Exposure was the one for me that was just yeah. like I, that's why I rode big boards, big mm -hmm. wheels, mm -hmm. skated a certain way. It was just that was to me it was just the, yeah yeah the that was a big influence. Been. Yep. So after Thrill of It All, mm -hmm. they're gonna immediately probably start on the next video, right? Is that how it went down? Yeah. Yep. I could I could only imagine. Yeah, no, for sure. There like, there was always I mean they zero videos always took way longer. Like certain people, you know, you need longer times. Of course. But but yeah, zero videos are always like, hey, if you're after that one and for a while, like too, I don't even think Jamie really liked people filming for like your your transwell parts and all that stuff. And maybe that even came after the fact, but mm -hmm, no, mm -hmm. I like zero was always supposed to be working on a video. Right. It's yes. kinda like, hey, after this one, you know, just feeling good keep it going was he always filming everyone or did you guys Hell have a yeah. filmer yeah no no dude early on dude it was jamie like uh, that's jamie thing and they brian lee right what's that they brian lee yeah lee yeah. lee was a little bit after the fact but yeah. i mean as far as misled you thrill of it all misled youth i don't think lee filmed any of that yeah. those two videos where that was jamie wow yeah, you gotta love like no, you gotta no, love that yeah. no, no, here's sure. this fucking pro skater on top of his game and he's filming everybody on the goddamn no, team for sure. no it's not and i mean dude honestly i spilled film probably 70 percent i'd say i mean i could be wrong or whatever but of misled youth for jamie you know and mm -hmm. those things where dude he taught me how to film and fucking dude he'd be willing to do it 10 different times for me to get it right really uh, on top cool. of all that that's what i'm saying like he was filming us but at the same time he'd be handing me a camera and i got pretty decent at it you know after yeah. like doing fucking stress to like film dudes like that and <laughs> whatever i was able to get it but he wouldn't get he, pissed no, if you dude, if you no, fucked it up. You, you felt his fucking madness in his head when he saw that he didn't. I didn't get it the way. But really, he's pretty good about being like, like. How, I got he, one more. Because he's, like, <laughs> <picky. laughs> he's picky. He's picky oh, too. He wants it to look the beyond, way that he beyond, sees it in his mind. Beyond picky. Right? How excited picky. was Jamie when the death lines came out? Oh my god. All right. Oh my god. You guys know that one. No. Yeah. No. So. So he. Yeah. Dude. As he was filming everybody, but at the same time, he had to do it. Fucking. It's amazing. My dumbass filming him. Why not hire a filmer? Why not pass it around? Is it just a team vibe thing? Is it just like it was? I don't know. He's just a fucking hard working dude. I don't know. He's an excuse eliminator kind of dude. Where like I no excuses. No excuses are allowed. You know, which is rad. And that's one of those things where I think. You know, if somebody says, it, you know, the crack or whatever, dude, he's going to be there fixing that crack, you know, right. if you, whatever. There's no filmer, I'll film it. It's I'll, pretty I'll, rad, it's though, amazing. too, because usually it's just a filmer, right? And exactly. we kind of take filmers for granted no, sometimes for sure. being skaters like, oh, they're sitting in that ditch. Yeah. Yeah, you feel bad. But at the end of the day, if it's, if it's Jamie Thomas sitting in that ditch, you're like... Let me get, I got to get this. No, this is, sure. I don't, want the, the I don't want the chief yeah, yeah. Oh, no, fucking, sure. you know, no, it kind of adds a little bit of fire when your boys are filming you. No, absolutely. You know, no, kind of sure. dope. Wait, so there, there was no filmer. You, he was filming you and then you were filming him? Misled youth? Yeah, if anything, I swear, like, it was one. Of, it was those times where I think Lee was only call, called in on, on, like, the heavy hitting shit. Okay. And even Sturt, <laughs> okay. I swear, it was like Sturt, like, I think maybe towards the end of the video is when... I don't even think Lee was that in the mix. It was more Sturt. Honestly, it was oh, like yeah? like Jamie really called on Sturt to mm. like for hey, I, I'm going to do this and you know whatever. Okay. To where a lot of it was myself filming them. Do you, you have know? any good Sturt uh, stories? Sturt one, they're all fucking good. I mean, I, they're, they're, all, they're all so good. Um, He's like the most mysterious man in skateboarding. God, I'm sure you heard him. I don't think I know anything that's like not been said. Mm. Um, yeah, all of them are true. I though. gotta meet this uh, guy. You yeah, never I gotta him. meet. No, I never met him. him no, no, got it. Yeah, no, I mean, like, he could dude, be hiding outside. Tori, watching yeah, seriously. Yeah, like, full, like, yeah, like, gorilla fucking maniac, like, oh, rips like. the seats out of his chair so nobody rides with them. And I don't know, <laughs> super psycho. Yeah, all the, let's leave those stories. It's a good for, idea. Like, yeah, I should. I I'm gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's fucking. He had more room for camera gear. That's true. That's true. He still lurks over at Poots Park. 
And if oh, does he does, yeah, every now and again, you see him oh, like skating the fucking bowl and shit. Dude, like, he did the loop and shot himself. Yeah, no, dude. Oh, he's that's wild. amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. He's wild. So uh, it's interesting to me because you said that, like, you know, Jamie would do it, the tricks multiple times if you, like, messed up. Because yep. he probably wants it a certain way in his head, right? He he oh, wants yeah. he wants to see it the way that he sees it in his head. And yes. if you didn't capture that right, he would do it again. And you said, which was interesting, you could feel his madness when oh, you yeah, didn't get sure. it right. Yeah. And I think that's why I learned how to film so fast. I mean, yeah. it was one of those things where one, I'm, I'm learning with him and I got to be on point and he's so particular. I mean, yeah. and I'm not saying a negative way. I mean, dude, it's, Hey, he wants it done you got, the way yeah, he wants it done. You want it, like, go ahead. You know? So, but I mean, it'd be as far as side to side. It's just like, uh, you know, like every bit, you know, yeah. whatever. and he just, oh, like, one more. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like shit, you know. But it's, yeah. how did you yeah, feel I mean, though? I, I, I dude, there's certain times where I felt like I was trying the trick because he's, I'm filming it, and if you fucking don't get it, and or you don't get his slam a certain way, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, sure. but, no, I, no, no, they, but I think like as skateboarders we we all go through that stuff where even the best filmer even Ty Evans or Roger Bagley could get the trick and you could look at it as a skater and be like it's not really the way I saw it in my head yeah, being yeah, filmed yeah, yeah. Totally. you know yep. so I, I, I totally yeah, get that yeah, yeah. you know oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd make Raj refilm a couple of my tricks too yeah, you would you know what I'm saying <laughs> well, no, yeah, yeah, never yeah, did that yeah. if I did it once that's fine yeah, yeah. oh yeah I ain't doing that again <laughs> <laughs> well let's go I want to talk about Circa though real quick okay. were you on Circa during this whole like misled youth and uh no 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 I actually uh, it all I rode for America for a bit. Oh, you know, it was way, way okay. more flow. You know, it was never really like a solid program with them. No, you see, on. you'd rep like all of Soul Yeah, Tank dude. I lo- yeah, yeah. And that was, the th- I mean, the, I, I was more on the American. It was through Jamie. Yeah. But I made good friends with um, Steve Black, who's like the oh, okay. TM at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And he, dude, he'd send me S or whatever, you know, America. And he's, mm-hmm. um, so yeah, so I rode for the Soul Tech camp for quite a while. Um, nef- nothing ever became really official until, um, towards the tail end of it but then right at that point where i you know i talked to don i got a little you know something and kind of made it a little more official but then that's when audio had kicked in mm-hmm. or started oh, and yeah. um, that one started out and it, it was one of those things where um i think of course jamie jamie, probably, yeah, jamie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. jamie thing too where yeah. he's just like hey like this is where we, i mean jamie and i were just hot like fucking it was just a duo kind of thing sure, where yeah. good or bad or whatever the fuck it was but it was everything was just like him and I just felt good together, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. way we worked or whatever. So, um, yeah, so he uh, invited me over to audio and it was a fucking amazing deal, especially, you know, uh, not saying it was a money thing by any means, but it was a big jump from where I was at Soul Tech. I you bet. Know? I just want to say, yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, for <laughs> yeah, sure. So, yeah. For sure. Like K2 money. Yeah. yeah there you yeah. go. So it was, it was, you know, that that part was pretty rad. I mean, that was probably one of the first breaks. You know, when you ride for zero, you don't count on ever making that. You know, that's not your your money-making thing. Sure. It's like, you know, kind of your last name. You're just like, yeah, you know, stoked yeah. to ride. So when you got that, that, that came about, I was super stoked. Um, that kind of just changed the way I kind of was able to live and not mm-hmm. have to, like, you know, worry about certain things. Were you getting a pro shoe off the bat? The... No, no, not at well, all. Wait, when no, did you go pro? Did you uh, go pro? pro or... I was pro 97, so it was, like, after Thrill of It All. After Thrill of I, It All. Well, actually, wait. I don't remember when Thrill or Misled Youth come, but I think it was before that. Before so the, okay. either, either way, it was, it was 97, 96 is when I went pro. Gotcha. So um, I don't know if that was before or after the audio thing. I want to say Misled audio. Youth came out in like 98. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I was, yeah. I was, it was after Misled Youth that okay. I went pro. Right. Um, which was, yeah, that was a whole weird thing in itself. Why? Um, it was early on. I mean, yeah. yeah I, okay. I think anybody would could kind of agree if you did the math a little bit but i think again with the zero thing it was come it came in so heavy it was i think with jamie being part of welcome to hell zero came in it just fucking blew up so much quicker than i think anyone really thought it would okay and um i remember like just going down to tumietto one day and jamie you know he was doing a lot of traveling the first time i'd seen a little bit i remember just coming from like south africa on some america trip or some shit and then he had said um yeah, no, I remember he's like, oh, what up? How you been? Like, he's like, dude, crazy. Like, I've been, um, the sales are hitting me up. Like, I, like, I think a big part of it was, like, sales was asking for, for my board, and which that happened up mm. once upon a time. You know, like, pe- you know, people actually ask for your sure. board. Yeah. 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 So, like, you just turn anyone pro anymore? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I don't know, yeah. But, yeah, that was the one where he's like, man, people are hitting those up. And I, I traveled through, um, I think it was in Africa, and he's just like, dude, people are, like, coining you out, and they're, they're feeling you or whatever. Like, okay. what, do you, what do you think about going pro? I remember like 
not even thinking about it. I was just like, I'm like, yeah, I don't think about that. Like, you know, whatever. And like, let's go back into Tumieto. You know, like we we're just, you know, we're in the parking lot or whatever. He's like, no, man, like, I think it's, there's something going on. Oh, anyway, so yeah, so it, that was kind of You didn't want to kick, continue the conversation. You were like, no. Well, it I'm just didn't excited. register. I mean, dude, I, it was 16 or 17 years old. I didn't fuck, dude, I, a lot of time to grow. I, I know what yeah, other yeah, pros yeah, have sure, done and whatever. Sure. So it seemed a, real early. And okay. then, uh, but anyways, yeah, he just, it's like, no, dude, man, like, I'm feeling this. I think you got this. Like, you know, hey, wow. just come correct on your next part. You'll be fine. Like, whatever. So. Damn. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, it just, it went, I went for it. Yeah, and then, it uh, like, what, did they, he showed you as your first board or how did No, that... no, no. I actually, um, no, I actually did. I, I came up with the first graphic. There was two series, I think, that were already in line. Like, you know, everybody else got it. Okay. But yeah, no, the first one I had actually, um, once he gave me that word, my, my, my grandma was a Jehovah's Witness. Oh, so, wow. So, um. I had this zine, like this magazine that they pass out or whatever, that I always just stoked on some of the graphics. And then, um, yeah, I know when he told me that, that was like I picked this graphic and my grandma was fucking bum, but it was, uh, <laughs> it was it's basically Jehovah's Witness. I turned it, uh, the angels and all that stuff coming down from the man, man uh, the hill into like more like the demon side of things. Oh, okay. So that, that became uh, actually... Oh, we get it. That start. horse graphic. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, that was actually out of Jehovah's Witness. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Yeah. What happened with audio, though? When did Circa come into play? Okay, so audio, I rode for about six months, and... That's it? Yeah. Wait, dude, so and, you were and, on the team, or... Yeah, you... no, like, full on the team. Like, yeah. actually, you know, like, contract, yeah, riding. Too. It was on, like, it was on, like, but it, but... It was like Barra and like yeah, it was like Jeremy yeah, it was like Tony Hawk, Barra, um, a lot of neon. Dudes. Yeah, oh d yeah, okay. So <laughs> the shoes, neon. Oh, neon. the shoes were difficult for me. I was very particular. Like coming from Soul Tech, it was like man, I, I was able to ride Sal's and sure. Excel's and all this shit, you know, and proper Americas and stuff too. Where that was, it was slow getting into that, and then. Um, I was a little weirded out about the whole K2 thing, too. I mean, I was a oh, little, really? little prick fucking dude back then. Like, mm -hmm. oh, fucking anything, 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 anything in our industry, yeah. like, you know, whatever, that kind of thing. And so that was a little difficult. But at the same time, I believed in it. And it was just, you know, it had rad potential. But then... Um, hey, Chris Miller. Yeah. So then maybe um, six months later, um, I had gotten a call from uh, Shane Wallace, who um, he, Active. he... Yeah, founder of Active mm. Ride Shop. And he said that um, Raul Reese, um, the owner of Forum Snowboards and mm -hmm. all like Special Blend and all that stuff, is partnering up with Muska, and you know they want you to ride for um, for this new thing. And wow! I was like, oh shit, I love Muska. You know what I mean? Like, get your mustache pocket. Park yeah, no, I mean I was <laughs> fucking smoking weed the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I was good to go. Right. But no, yeah. So they they um, that that got in my ear, um, and then I had met up with those guys. I went up to San Clemente and. Um, I met up with Rawl, um, team manager at the time, Ryan Reese, who was actually Rawl's brother, Baby Ice. Oh, I didn't know that that was his brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. Baby and then, Ice. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll get into that later. But, uh, yeah, so then, uh, um, yeah, and then Muska, too. So we, it was one of those things where we had this kind of crazy meeting because I was already under contract through um, audio. Gotcha. And in order to meet with these guys, it had to be kind of stealth and stuff. <laughs> yep. And I think at that time, I swear, it was one of those things that intrigued me. You know, it was just like, oh, fuck, these guys, like, we got to be secret. They picked me up in, like, the forum, like, blacked out SUV van and went to like <laughs> nice dinner and stuff. And I, dude, I wrote for zero. I mean, I'm talking like 10 years of sleeping on the fucking floor. Like, you right. know, like, you know, whatever, like every tour is grimy as shit, you know? So like, <laughs> you know, here to, you are, Roos Chris. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 that's what I'm saying. So this is great. And, and, that's, good money. I, that's what I'm saying, dude. I would never change any of the zero days of touring and stuff. Yeah, yeah of Rugged course. and raw, but it's just like, it was, it was so rad for what it was. But yeah. then to meet up with these zero do or uh, uh, circuit guys, you know, mm -hmm. especially Muska and Raw and stuff. It's like, you just felt like they were going for like the top and then and it wasn't something. Did uh, they already have a name picked out? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so they broke they broke everything down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I met up with those dudes, it was just fucked. Dude, the pitch was just insane. It wasn't like a money. It was just those dudes wanted to take over the fucking shit. Sure. It wasn't like, hey, we're gonna you know do this and we're. It's like no, this this is the plan. Hey, you know we we don't we know it seems like it's unquestionable whether we can get Jamie and this and that and blah blah blah. But like no, it's like who do you want on the team? Like you know whatever. It was just wow. an insane pitch that I've never heard of yeah yeah you know to where um yeah it was tough because i had just signed that contract with circa or uh, with audio but i remember going home after that and just like dude i'm fucking down like <laughs> i don't care what i have to do i just have to go just you know get the balls and tell jeff taylor 
Who was Circa? <laughs> I, had to go to Jeff I had to go to tell Jeff. But Taylor. wait, who was a who was a team on Circa that they were pitching? Oh, it, dude, it, at that time it was just me and Muska. That's I mean, it. Wow. It was mu- just Muska, you know. So yeah. we were just getting. You that were like the thing. second dude. I was the second dude. Yeah, no bullshit. Yeah, wow. yeah, second dude. So it was like, yeah, this is what we want to oh, do. Shit. You know, of course, I, I, of course, they wanted Jamie Thomas to be oh, on that did. program. Okay. You know, so it was like they knew if you you went there, Jamie would follow. I don't. I don't know. I want to think, that, dude. Honestly, <laughs> I had that in my fucking head. But, but was an audio like? It was, but it, it came to that thing to where where we finally made the decision, and like they didn't think that jamie put it on like uh, we'll get to that part but that there that's actually uh, uh leads into that because after i had finally went back after that pitch i had went to jeff taylor finally went there and unfortunately i left him a note on his desk because oh. he wasn't there wait a yeah. minute wait, 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 wait. Hold, on, hold on hold on wait let's let's back up let's no, no, back no, okay. up okay i'm an early riser How? i had dude here's the thing i'm an early riser and i dude, dear jeff fucking, i quit dude, and, and so i i uh, um yeah, so so once I finally got the balls, I was like, all right, dude, I'm just going to go there. And before anybody's in there, just Jeff. Okay. So I went down there. Nobody kinda, was Kind of hoping that Jeff would be there. I, trust me, it is a fucking tough one. So then I went in. <laughs> yeah. well, I love this. Yeah, so I, I uh, uh, ended up writing a note on his desk like, hey, Jeff, we need to talk. I'm just not feeling this thing. And da, wow. da, 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 da. Wanted to break the ice, you know, just, I don't know. I didn't know how to deal with shit sure, back sure, then, sure. dude. Yeah. I was a fucking I mean, no, like, how, uh, old, how old were you? I was still old enough to, I should have known better. <laughs> yeah, but still, but, but still but, uh, yeah, you know, what are we talking? I, I 17, 18 Yeah, like now? 17, 18. Still, 17, 18, still 18, it's a little you know? kid. So You're I, dealing yeah, with yeah, big yeah. business yeah, shit yeah. here. So, you know? And, you know, I'm leaving a company with still Jamie Thomas. That, that was a big one part, part of it too, because Jamie That's put right. me on this fucking team. And, and he's the one that pitched it like, it's not like, dude. Did Jamie I mean, know how, you had the circuit meeting? No, not at all. Nobody no, no, no. knew. It goes to this. No, no. And this is, it kind of leads to that too, where, um. So yeah, I finally told Jeff. Jeff was amazing about it too. I mean, that's just who he is. Yeah, Jeff yeah. Taylor, love him to death. Love you, Jeff. How many he, years were on your contract? Oh, it's like three. Okay, oh, yeah. wow. three years, yeah, yeah, and you just years. and you, this is six months into six it. Six months into gotcha. it. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I went in there, and dude, there was no question. It was just like, dude, if you're not happy here, like, okay, like, if there's anything we can do, right? You know, to, to whatever. But if your heart's not in this, let's you know, let's yeah. figure it out. And yeah. and I gotten on the phone. I made it very clear. I was just like, dude, I'm just you know, it's just not me. You yeah. know, I'm just whatever. It's you know? cheaper. And a lot go. of it, like you mentioned, like I mean, the neon and the 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 stuff that going the ads and stuff being very, being very tech yeah. and rave mm-hmm. influence right, or whatever the fuck right, you want to call it right. at the time was just throwing me off. You know, so uh, when Musk came about and uh, Raw is just. It was exactly well, you know Musk's vibe. You know how yeah. he, how how he's gonna yeah. want a company no, no, for to sure. look and everything. And, and, and I knew his vibe was gonna be this thing. But they, I remember when we met, it was just like, hey, we're we're covering all grounds here. We're not gonna be this, 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 and that. Right. We're going for the top. Or da 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 da. Did you tell finish. audio at, that you were gonna oh, go? Dude, it's insane. I mean, it, it, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, here's the thing. Here's the crazy. <laughs> here's a shitty thing though. Okay, that same meeting was the same night of the Reason premiere. Oh, sick. Where um. We I had met with Raul and Muska. I'm unveiling so much shit right now because that yeah whatever the meeting shouldn't have happened. But it was I had that meeting with the uh, circuit camp yeah. that same it was night. Late nineties, and we yeah <laughs> we were up there, and I remember we were up in San Clemente, and we all like okay hey we're going to that premiere transfer premiere because I had some shit in it. And okay, yeah, so, that back lip was in it, right? Yeah, the back yeah. lip was actually in it. Yeah. So then um, we all went down there. Like Raul was already planning on going down there, and that same night, Raul uh, Chris Miller. Oh fuck, I'm just. Yeah. Anyways, Chris Miller and Raul had literally had like a little beef in front of the uh, the theater, the okay. premiere of the uh, that reason, because um, he had heard that um, Raul was talking to talking to some of his dudes. Um, and you his, know, his Raul, audio Raul, guys. Raul, Raul's, my, Raul's my boy. I, you know, people could hate on him or whatever, but he he was a good dude. You know, he's a good dude. And, sure. And, yeah, he is. But dude. he he. He was a little cocky, and, and, and so I think when he his his first coming into it, and I think you know he rubbed people off the the wrong way. Okay, but um, but I remember going to that premiere and just kind of like seeing them kind of like in front of the premiere, and I was like, <laughs> like yeah. I hadn't mentioned anything to anything, right? You didn't. So I don't know. think they knew anything was going on with me personally, but he had heard that he's gone in for people. Sure, you know, where this, this, this is a small. Camp, so this is not. I mean, this happened in D.C. There was people in that camp that. Right. New Raw was trying, hey, we're going to fucking do this and we're going to get who we want. This is know? a small industry. Yeah. Especially so, back then. Yeah. For one, every, one, one person talks to somebody, the whole everybody knows. Yeah. Everybody knows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Can't yeah. hide anything. So, so we went to that premiere and it was a blowout, like fucking dude, just bah, like it yeah. was gnarly. So Great that made it pretty difficult for, you know, a few weeks later for me to actually go in 
with Jeff and not do it the way I should have, but uh, you know, I, <laughs> oh I, uh, yeah. So leading to, so say Jamie Thomas coming to the picture. Yes. You know, okay. Say. So once I made that announcement to Jeff, I went to Jeff first. I didn't tell Jamie. I just right. like, Hey, I met with Muska or, you know, I met with him. I made my decision. I didn't honestly ditch. Didn't want Jamie to have that chance to fucking, you know, this is the first time you went and met, met with Jeff Taylor or you met with him a couple of times. No, I met with that first time. Just first for, time. So for, you for, had for, told him about Circa and everything. Yeah. 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 That was, yeah. It, that, that was like probably two weeks after I met with Circa and I made the decision. Okay. I'm, I'm, I need to, I don't know how I was going to handle it because I was under contract too. So yeah. it was like, fuck, I don't even know what to do. So it took me a couple of weeks before actually going there. When nobody was there. Him, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So then I but let you finally him, could talk, let him know. You, did you then, talk to him on the phone or did yeah, you go yeah, in that's there? That's what I'm saying. Dude, he called me probably like an right. hour or two okay. hours later and he just, we had a heart to heart and it was great. I mean, that's gotcha. what I'm saying. Jeff's he's, soft, okay. he's amazing. He's the same dude he is you know, mm -hmm. then hey, now. Jeff so. wants any, everybody to be happy. That's yeah, his that's number one. one. That's his MO. Totally. Which is amazing. So... Uh, but after that, that's when, you know, Jamie at re or Jeff and everybody caught word of it. And Jamie had come to my apartment out in, uh, uh, where was that? Poway Ranch. Burr. I remember he come out, came out. He's like, hey, Lopes, I want to fucking talk to you. Like, you know, I heard what's going on. Okay. I was like, shit. I like, want in. I was like, God damn it. No, 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 no. And then he came over and it was definitely more to talk to me like, hey, man, like, you know, I don't think what you're doing is right. And not in a sense like he thought I was making a bad decision or whatever, but like, hey, there's potential here and mm -hmm. yada, yada, yada. And I told him exactly what I felt. You okay. know? And it was like one of those things where I'm, dude, he's probably in my apartment for like two hours, like just, just what's rapid. going on, man? Sure. Like, you know, this is a new thing. Like they hadn't even really fucking cracked the surface yet. Like, and I was like, I don't know, man. Like these dudes are for real. Like they fucking mean biz. And then, and it's not just, they want like, let's do this kind of shit. Right. So, after that conversation, I I, I want to say, and I'm not trying to take credit for whatever, but dude, I, I think Jamie was ready to go to Circa after that. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 you talked him into it. Yeah. You know, bullshit, and not, and not <laughs> saying that in in any cocky way. Like sure. it, Jamie would have made his own decision, but it was I think it was one of those things where it's just like, dude, like, what are we doing here? You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he was like, it's Muska's, you know, and and then this dude Roll, I don't know what he's about, but dude, he's like, he's. He knows design, he knows marketing, and it's certain things that he's mentioned that I'm just like, I'm not hearing this over here. So after that night, it became one of those things where, yeah, it, it, he left my like it let, he left my apartment saying, you made the right decision. Okay. And, 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 and I don't know if it was in that exact words, but it was just like, do your, do your, do your thing. Do your thing. Right. So, um, wow. yeah, that, that went down. And then, um, yeah, so I was the second dude on Circa. That's that. insane. Yeah. Which was rad, though. I mean, it... To come from zero camp, like like I said, it's like, you know, Jamie ran his camp because he wanted people to, like, stay hungry. Sure. You know, it's not so he wanted to save a fucking 20 bucks for a hotel. It's right. not people get whatever. Maybe it is, you know, with certain <laughs> 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 But at that time, dude, he just wanted everybody to stay hungry. And, yeah. And, and, you know, like, for me to have that world and then be able to go over here and kind of, like... Have completely. that balance? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, it was, oh, yeah. Just, it was insane, dude. Like traveling became a whole different thing. You know, I, I, I it wasn't too long after that. I ditched my apartment. I was like, dude, I don't need an apartment. You don't need I'm it. Fucking travel. Right. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go with these guys. So it must be hard for somebody like Jamie Thomas with such a work ethic. You know, to run a company like you said, he wanted everybody to stay hungry. You know, yep. imagine like a Kobe Bryant. Everybody on that team is not gonna have the work ethic. Like Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. Imagine how crazy that must make you feel sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's great. I can only imagine. I was, yeah, his, yeah, his, his work that is second to none. It's and, second, yeah. right. Yeah, and it's frustrating at times. You know I mean? bet. It's one of those things for, for writers and, you know, I was always able to do my thing, but I think, yeah, it, you can't give a dude excuses when he's fucking doing himself. Exactly. Yeah. That's what, yeah. well, there you go. Leave number one. That's one thing I learned in my yes. company and, and what I do, it's like, you can't question anything unless, you know, if you're, if you're leading by example. Well, bro, if you're a slacker, everybody else around you, if you own that company, they're going to be like, well, our boss is a fucking slacker. Exactly. So why do yeah. I need to do this shit? Straight up. Yeah. So C Circa forms, right? You yep. leave. But here's audio, though. Great fucking Tony Hawk. Yeah. You got yeah, Jamy yeah, Ray. Yeah, sure. You got Years later, they had Chris Roberts. They had Chris. Yeah. Yeah. They, had, they had me. <laughs> yeah. You know, my first yeah. pro ad, I was in a hammock. You know, they were popping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, work ethic, huh? A lot of work ethic. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, were, were you nervous at all? Because yeah. here's this thing. You may not like the vibe, but... I don't know. I, it, it's this I don't new know, thing. Dude. It was I don't just know. one of those things where I, I'm a big person. I go off my gut. You know, I, I'm, I'm always one of those dudes where if it feels good. It's okay. Got, like you just go for it sure. and you fucking figure it out. And 
that was one I felt very good about. Okay. You know, and it was, dude, it wasn't even, I already made you a pretty was decent. Like peaking then too. Oh, That's dude, yeah. Right. It was like all, everything and above. I mean, mm-hmm. even like we didn't know who we'd actually get, but it's just every, all the potential was there. And, and I think for me, it was just, yeah, just dealing with Raw and Muska just felt Felt good. Good, yeah. yeah. There you, you know, go. Just like, how, right. how did you guys choose the rest of the team? That's what was rad about Circa, dude. Like, we would meet up, like, every two weeks at Rawls. Um, he had a condo out in San Clemente. We'd just meet up there every two weeks, and we'd oh, wow. powwow on it. You know, oh, it was sick. like slow process, um, especially once, you know, like, we got, I want to say James Craig or something. I, I don't know. It, it was weird. Like, it, the, the team took a little shape without not being as much process as I thought. But I think once, like... Jamie came aboard. It became this like thing of like, dude, nobody's getting on this fucking thing unless we all vote and blah blah blah. But um, after I got on, I think it was already plotted. Like it, it wasn't too long after we knew Jamie was coming over. He Why was deal, he? He had to deal with his legal issues. I mean, dude, it was like they weren't having it. Here's you, right? You come in six months into it. You leave. You, there's probably no shoes involved. There's no. probably yeah, no. no clean so break. it's an easy yeah, clean yeah. break, right? Clean Jamie break. Thomas. Oh yeah. It, he's got shoes. Big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invested money into this guy. I'm sure for it was sure. a huge thing. Oh, right? huge. For yeah. sure. I mean, right. we're, we're, you know, it, it got as probably ugly as it can be, but with skateboard, somewhat as amazing as Chris Miller, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Dude, amazing dude. But also has to kind of protect what he's doing. Yeah, and he's course. got investors like K2 and all that. Sure. He has to make sure, you know, what he's put in place sticks about. But anyways, they... And I bet Jamie, they, being a business owner, kind of understood all that as yeah, well. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Sure. I'm speaking for him, but I, I think he... Yeah, no, for sure. He understood all that, but he he fought to get out of that contract. Yeah, sure. You know, I'm sure. And he had to kind of do whatever he had to do. And it, I don't I, mean, I don't know all the details, but it yeah, was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got pretty, pretty uh, rough towards the end, because I remember he had to, like, start wearing shoes duct taped and shit or whatever oh shit um i was gonna do that anyways was wasn't that, even saying that anyways. Yeah. wasn't even saying that he was like wearing blank shoes or he was like buying shoes that didn't have any them. labels or something i, I forget yeah, his yeah, interview yeah. was so yeah, long no, ago that's what I mean. yeah, it was like it was a big deal i remember like talking about like it was a thing that happened for a while and you right. know it was just like oh he's coming but at some point you know so we had to kind of like build around it and kind of keep the thing going of course but, but um, it, but once he came aboard, it became this like proper like this is what we are. You know, right. it's like hey, we got the fucking this side of the world cover. We got this, and I mean, you know, I mean, so you, your shoe, right? The yeah. A uh, what's AL50. it? AL fifty. Yep. The AL fifty. That was a big one, dude. Yeah, no, no, dude. <laughs> yeah, thank God, no. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jesus. But you know, you know what's funny though that that was uh, that was actually my first shoe. My first shoe was the AL two hundred two, which actually did. Almost as well as that one. Which oh, was, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, which was pretty, pretty nuts. Like, that's how really? that one kind of started about was I got my first shoe in 2002 was the 202. Okay. And that one did fucking really well. Like it hit the, like the ladies thing and it was just like, I don't know, whatever. It did really well. And that, that was the follow-up shoe. Okay. Two years later. And that shoe was actually already in the line. Like it had been in the line maybe two seasons before it didn't check. But then, because my name on it, because of the AL, you know, just having that, like, okay, he has this other shoe that's really successful. Right. They're like, hey, let's get, we really, this dude, Dennett, which I'll give him credit, you know, dude, he, he, I remember him pulling me in, we were at a lookbook shoot for Circa and C1 and all that shit. And mm-hmm. um, he's like, hey, dude, this shoe, you know, a couple seasons ago, it didn't fucking check, but like, I, I believe in this shoe. What do you mean it didn't check? It didn't, it didn't make the yeah, line. They make, yeah, they yeah. didn't make enough to, like, yeah, didn't book enough to, like, make the... the but production. But, the, but, yeah. but that production, sounds, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no, no. That sounds sketchy to me. No, no, Like, here's sure. a shoe that doesn't didn't even book. No, no, And now you want me, me to put my name on it? Well, there's no it story dope, No, no, but, the, but saying, it looked dope because it, at the time, like, it, it's... I remember it was in the warehouse. I was like, man, like, and it looked amazing. It was, and also, at that time, it looked thin, but... It vulcanized shoes. It had this cup... It actually had one piece in the back. And he said, hey, I believe in this shoe. Hmm. And I know with your name on it, your vibe, like what you have going on, like I think would, you take that out, you put your shit on there and it's going to work. It's going to yeah. go. At that time, the vulcanized shoes were just a popping off, dude. That was it too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, their timing for me was always been everything. Wow. You know, like even with my first two, like I was the first or whatever, the, the, I had a real short toe cap. Okay. And for, there was nothing in the market at the time. And, and the girls all of a sudden, this is like the one where that this is shoe like... Avril Lavigne and all these random, like Limp Biscuit, all these fucking right. random dudes, just, you know, whatever. So not, that just, not, not this shoe, but the first the one. 202. So when this one came about, they, you know, Dennett suggested, he's like, hey, like, you know, I think if you take this out, put your shit on there, yeah. it's your vibe. Like, it's just a real, and at the time it was thin, you know, it wasn't a puffy yeah, yeah, shoe. Right, so right, right, right. it almost looked like your classic Vans at the time. Like, hey, gotcha. like, you're a simple Dickies kind of dude. 
So um, anyway, so, so that's how it came about. And yeah, dude, it's fucking I mean, how many, man, could, how yeah. many colorways? Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it came out. Yeah, it came out in 2004 and it's, yeah, it's, let me, let me, How long was let it in the line it. for? It was in there for a long time. It's still in there. I mean, dude, it, Circa's still rebirthed again. If you might, so we're, sure we'll get yeah, into yeah, that. Yeah. But like, um, no, dude, even the, the last round, it's still the, yeah, dude, it still has its little, wow. Let me, whether let me, they're college kids I mean, or whatever. It's silhouette. The, let me do the math on this. I don't know how it works. I mean, that's, I mean, to me, it's, it's $2 a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> how many colorways? How many yeah. years? I mean, Jesus Christ, no, you must no, have no, made dude, a little fucking fortune off yeah, of that thing. No, I, I definitely, uh, very fortunate with the, in the shoe game. Was that, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. was that the only two shoes you had or did you have more? No, no, I have, you know, I had a shit like, you know, I've had, but a those lot two more. shoes were the, yeah, the those hitters. are the two that hit hard. I mean, gotcha. I, I think once you have a good shoe and then you're able to follow up with one, yeah, yeah, people yeah. kind of maintain it. You all of a sudden become that dude that's like, oh, well, he pays attention to what he likes. At right. Least. Yeah. And it's not just a dude that, um, throws his name on any shoe, you know, but, which was the case. I, I definitely was like very, like, meticulous about what i wanted sure. and if it's going to follow up it better be damn good and whatever so totally. i took it very serious so so circa's the rebirth or yeah, whatever you were okay. saying so, yeah it's are, you, new are you are yeah, you so we're circa yeah, yeah yeah i mean the shoe gotcha. still pays the bills okay. so, wow um, it was under un a new ownership even um maybe four years ago um Dude, Massimo took it over. Great dude. Yeah. He, owned, he actually owned the factories. Yeah, some like of the factories. Italian factory. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fa Italian factories and okay. really solid dude. Um, but um, since he's uh, parted ways and it's been about eight months now that there's under new ownership. Okay. So there's like a rebuild going on right now for 2019. Dope. So right now, um, it's how you myself. Feeling? How are you feeling about it? I feel good. I mean, dude, Dope. it's one of those things where, dude, you know, the shoe game's tough, is it? You yeah. know what I mean? And it's yeah. not getting any better, but I still think there's people out there that want that that you know what i mean like hey we're gonna work with you if you can work with it because right. we, we need we want that that skate community or release the muscle one yeah with the stash pocket right, right. yeah oh, yes. who are you Not saying like, was on the yeah team so, now? so right now it's just and i want to do it slowly i mean dude i know there's people floating it out around out there you know like sure. so i don't think it'd be tough to build a little squad yeah minimal or whatever so right now i just put um james brockman on he's just a good buddy, buddy of mine and oh dude for zeros heavy hitter dude so I hit him up, and it's one of those things where I want dudes on the squad right now to just realize where the skateboarding shoot game is sure. and where they are. And, and it's, uh -huh. I don't want the answer of like, fuck yeah. You know, like, yeah. we're going to do this. And, you know, my, my pitch isn't big. It's not like I have something major to offer them. Right. But it's like, hey, you know, like, I know there ain't, you know, I know there are not too many brands hanging around right now to where if you can, you know, get with this thing and, and you know, grow with it. And I don't want to be the dude that's like, promising him anything. I, I'm laying it down like for real how it is. So, right. And I think a lot um, of people know the, the industry right now. Yeah, no, for sure. You know, so for so sure. That, that's where I'm going. And and I think, you know, I want, there's, you know, there's one dude I want from the old squad. I want, want Neen back. Neen Williams and shit. Oh, and then, that would be dope. Yeah, that's the one dude I want back on. Who does Neen skate with, for right now? He's uh, he's just getting flow oh, through. Oh, super. No, he's not. Yeah, no, 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 no. He's he's just getting flow shoes. Oh, that's it. Stuff. I, I hit him oh. up. We're, we're talking a little bit. Neen is but, the man. But he's, no, no, dude. He's Love a hustler. Me. He's a hard worker. Oh he's a good dude. So. I want to make sure I, you know, I come correct or whatever, but, um, but right now I just want to keep it slow and kind of like, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. wait for the right people. And I think exactly. I want the dudes to know where they stand and it's like, dude, I'm going to give it at all. Well, with all like the old school shoes coming back right now. Yeah, too, no I mean, shit. It's yeah. a great time also. What was the shoe? I, I never, I can never remember the numbers of all the shoes. Yeah, I know. But the a, one that, uh, it's like that New Balance style. Uh, yeah. yeah. Al, uh, Apple Yard would always skate. 201. 201. That one yeah, was a yeah, big dude, one. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Dude, dude, when I got on Circa, like I literally couldn't wear shit like it was the 901 muska's like high heel like crazy mm -hmm. one with the stash pocket all that there was another model that was still big i remember wearing the first pair and i sacked myself at uci grill <laughs> because it was i didn't even feel my board oh my so there, there, there was a period like where i didn't even wear circus because i had i basically waited until that 201 came out oh. that was a shoe though that like i don't know what it was i maybe it's just yeah i was so that the one with like, the silicone something. bumps on the side yes. of it? yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. i was not again that was one shoe where i saw it and it reminded me of audio yeah oh. but it skated so well like if you put it on and you didn't have to break it in so hmm. that was their go-to for everybody yeah, that was a big one. Yeah. Well, let's before we get into your companies right now, yeah. I want to go back just a little bit to zero, sure. and because didn't you say you left zero? Oh yeah, no, no, yeah. Well, I had wrote uh, switched over to mystery for a bit. That, that <laughs> mystery. That's, that's right. That's too. right. Okay, that's so, right. So I did. Um, was mystery supposed to be your brand? What's that? Was mystery supposed to be no, your no, brand? No, no, no. That's actually a funny little story too. Yeah. It's like 
I had, um, this yeah, is like, after dying to live. Yeah, after dying to live. Okay. So, so after dying to live, I think the next one was New Blood. Yeah, New Blood. Mm, yeah, yeah, New Blood's where we did the uh, the mystery. Uh, Chris Carl. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, that one. So I was writing for mystery, and then I'm sorry, zero, and then yeah. mystery uh, came about because uh, Jamie and Mumford were actually doing. You're going to do mystery. Okay. And that was going to be their thing. I think for the most part, Jamie came up with the concept. Mm name mm -hmm. and everything okay where um you know but then it was like later pitched to month for like hey you know like i want to do a new thing and i think you're you know you're a veteran and i think you can like handle being this thing and um for whatever reason, I don't think Mumford was really into it you know hmm. maybe the name and and whatever and I, I don't know exactly what it was but um it became one of those things where jamie hit me up after that he's like hey you know like i know you're kind of like you know, you're just doing your thing right now and, and stuff, but uh, what do you think about taking on mystery? But you're still on zero. Like, why? Now he's asking you to change yeah, teams. Yeah, no, no, no. Super weird. But I, at that time, though, is like, I remember it it's was a big like, opportunity, though. yeah, no, no, yeah. for sure. But it was it was one of those things where sure. I, even when Jamie had just bought, like, got that big spot, you know, where we had that massive park, had skate park. Place, and yeah. Oh, yeah. It was just Black crazy, Fox. you know? So I was like, I, I already kind of had a weird disconnect with the camp. Like, Things were just going crazy, you know, like mm. just getting big and stuff. And then when Jamie hit me up, he's just like, um, threw it at me. And I, I, the immediate answer was no. Like, I don't want to take that on. And not, not right. just from a writer standpoint, but it was also like, you got to be like a creative the brand director. manager. Yeah, yeah. You got to like. Oh, he wanted you to do yeah, kind of head up the company. Yeah. It was more like that. So more on the like creative side, I would say. Like, you know, because we always had team managers in the mix. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. he pitched it like, hey, like, you know, Mumford's not into it. He's not feeling it. We kind of had a little thing. And, um, I think you'd be good for it. And I was like, I ah, know, whatever. But it, I already hmm. had kind of a disconnect from the new camp, whatever it was at the time. Like, okay. You know, it was like that, whatever. I, every now and again, I go through periods where it's like, okay, it's a new squad. And, you know, sure. they're so long, sure, there's new sure. camps and stuff. So that time I was a little disconnect. And then I had told them, uh, Jamie, maybe, I don't even know what it was, maybe a week later or so that, sure, let's go. Let's oh, wow. do it. You know, let's, let's give it a go. Okay. Because I've always been stoked on uh, working with graphics and stuff too. Like, mm -hmm. Zero graphics and all that stuff. I always came up my own, and then, mm. you know, I even came up with other series like Stained Glass, like certain things. I, I just really loved that part of it too. Yeah, where yeah. I was like, oh shit, maybe I can at least have some fun with making graphics and there all that stuff. Go. And I um, ended up saying yeah, and we did that. And um, did he have a team already planned out, or was this kind of like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was already kind of plotted, and I, I think that was why a little bit of because I remember when it got announced to even our, our camp i think we were still at tamietto at the time oh okay and there was a little like animosity animosity from some people because they weren't part of like the initial plan you know it's like oh we've been busting our ass for the zero thing and right blah blah it's killing it but this whole concept has been handed to us and it's there's not much for us to do besides just sell it and go for it you know so sure. but yeah so eventually i did it and then um i probably did it for about two years as far as like creative director and all mm -hmm. that stuff came out all the graphics and all that shit um team management tours all that stuff kind of did that and then after about two two and a half years i just remember calling jamie I was like dude i don't want to do all this fucking shit it was like you were over it yeah I was over it because... How old, how old, I mean, were you getting, were you still skating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah was I was still skating. So everything yeah, no, for was... sure. I was still skating and stuff, but it, it was like, um, I don't know. I, I, yeah, it was... Burnt out, maybe. Yeah, like a little burnt out. I mean, it, it's 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 brand. still Jamie's yeah. camp. You know what I mean? And I love it. Jamie, like I said, but it's when you come up with graphics, you're getting in his head, you know? And, 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 right. and I think um, for me... I love, you know, I love doing what we're doing. And I think we have like the mutual, like, you know, same taste in certain things, but yeah, I don't know. It, 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 as much as, you know, people th said, oh, it's your, your company. And da, 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 it wasn't my thing. Right. You know? So, right. So I think at some point I was like, dude, I'm just going to focus on skating and then, you know, let's keep that kind of going, whatever. Yeah. Um, that was for that part though, like to, to, to creative direct the brands. Still okay. rode for it. They, you know, they brought somebody in to kind of handle that. And it gotcha. wasn't until later when I actually said, you know what, like, Let's just go. You know, I mean, let's just part our ways now. And I think, you know, it's probably the right time. Why did you want to part your ways? It was probably like six months or about a year after I started Loser Machine. So mm -hmm. I remember we were at the Crossroads trade show down at ASR or, yeah, when it was still down in San Diego. Yeah. That day, I just, for some reason, felt a big disconnect with the crew. And mm -hmm. I literally made that decision that day. Really? So I just went oh. up to him like, Jamie, I'm like... And I, and I was making pretty good money from them still too. And I, I knew at the time it was, it was starting to get tough times for black box, you oh, know, like okay. we had, 
Jamie, you know, we had that ma like massive place, amazing. I mean, dude, it was probably the best time it's fucking zero mm -hmm. zero days, you know, for yeah, sure. sure. But um, we had gotten to that point where, like, you know, some people were starting to have to get like little pay cuts here and there, right. you know, to kind of make sense of everything, which I think everybody was dealing with that. So whole industry, yeah. yeah, everybody was. Yeah. So um, for me, I remember thinking, like, dude, I'm still paid pretty good amount, like, you know, for my squad. If I were to dip maybe that could kind of balance it okay. out and you know i'll still put a board out to lose machine still got shoe still money coming everybody. in everybody's like you know yeah so i might okay perfect my, you know circuit things yeah. so I, I just kind of like you know everything's kind of going crazy you know whatever and right. maybe i could tap out now and and that'll help out with these I'm not saying i was 100 percent like i just want to help these dudes out but it's yeah, yeah, like yeah. timing wise it you just felt, felt right yeah, it, felt it felt right. good right yeah, yeah and good. plus you have loser machine where you wanted to maybe focus more on yeah, that as well sure. too yep yeah, huh. for sure. So, yeah, at that point, I kind of felt the good buzz about um, Loser Machine, what we were doing there. And I just wanted to make a bunch of shit. Loser Machine was never meant to make one thing. So mm -hmm. for me to throw a board here and there and all that stuff, I yeah. do whatever we want. You know, okay. Thing, so. so it wasn't like you were quitting for another company. You were no. just quitting no, to focus that, that's on... that's why it wasn't as like a bigger, big deal where it's like, oh, I'm, I'm done with Zero and I'm going... It's just... Right. I mean, I think it's time for us to kind of go this, you know, whatever. Sure. Was that around and the I, same time that like he was bringing in New Balance Numeric? Yeah. yeah, it was around that same time. I think, okay. yeah, yeah, and yeah, there was a period where I had a pretty big disconnect from that. You know, when it became a big distribution mm -hmm. thing, it was yeah. just you know, it was. I mean, that was a big all, space. So, oh yeah, it was, it was huge. huge. It was insane. The skate park. Yeah, you'd be selling a lot of shit. Awesome. I mean, dude, it was fucking great. I mean, it was unbelievable. Yeah. So when did you start Loser Machine? So Loser Machine started. Um, I started that in two thousand eight. You okay. know, like actually, two thousand late two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. um, me and my buddy Dennett, who was actually it, with me at Circa for many years, same dude that designer you know, with the uh, yeah. yeah with the shoes and yeah. stuff. Uh, we both um, had a lot of mutual, you know, uh, passions outside of skateboarding, whether okay. it be like old cars, uh, motorcycles, art, whatever it may be. Uh, we just started hanging out a lot, and a lot of us ended up hanging out at each other's houses. You know, like even your John Alleys and a lot of people that were into cars. Like we just mm. started. Kind of just gravitating every you know maybe every couple of weeks we'd end up at each other's houses whether it be somebody working on their car or whatever okay. um just all got together and one day we're just like fuck let's just make a couple hats for um ourselves you sure. know like just hats t-shirts and dennett being the genius he is with like art and everything else it just it was like overnight it's just mm -hmm. like cool I, I like that brand. idea yeah, yeah. cool yeah I, mean, I don't i don't think so not it, even focus on skateboarding just a brand no no for, no, no. It, and it, it yeah. is skateboarding I, I think that's the one oh, thing really? I, you know i, I think i want to make sure the point is like you know my history in it is skateboarding first yeah. and foremost okay you know but i think it's easy to kind of like okay you don't write job well, you know, but it's a heavy influence on cars and motorcycles yeah, 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 and for stuff sure. too no right? no absolutely yeah no for sure and that's like something that i think we were always into and, and you know at the time i remember thinking i was like man like I was never the dude that wanted to start my own brand. You know, like oh, yeah. I, I kind of saw through Jamie, it's like, man, the nightmares and stuff that he had to deal with and it's a lot, lot work, that goes yeah. into it. It's yeah, I was just like, man, I don't know if that's for me. So um, when this came about, it's just one of those things where it's just like, man, it's everything I'm really into. Sure. You know, and, and there's nothing out there right now, especially at the time, I think that like, you know, skateboard industry is starting that big recession where yeah, it's just like, man. fuck, you know, like it's not a baller industry like we all thought so, uh, or, 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 you know, used to. Sure. And um, so, yeah, when, when it came about, I was just like, yeah, dude, let's do this. You know, like, I think there's something there. You know, we're, I don't want to come out, though, unless we're doing something different. And that's mm -hmm. why, you know, we did three-quarter motorcycle helmets in a metal flake, like novelty 60s, 70s helmets. Okay. We did uh, gloves as well. Um, and it's just, for me, it was just to kind of separate. Like, I just didn't want to come out and be that normal thing. So, um, so yeah, Loser Machine just, it, it, it kind of naturally just came about it's one of those things where we're first going to just do it for ourselves you gotcha. know it's kind of like oh man there's nothing that's really representing everything we're about so um yeah we put it together and I, once it did i felt 100 percent about it and went for, went for it you know i mean i went all in how did you come cool. up with the name loser machine that's a great Good question <laughs> <laughs> you get that a lot you no know, <laughs> for for no, loser machine i mean it's one of those things too where it's like and what we're in, I mean, dude, it's not one of those things. It's not a glorified, you know, working on cars and bikes and all this and that. And then for me, it's like we've all, like, you know, in my day, you know, even, you know, middle school days, it's like your your uh, your skateboarders, your musicians, your greasers, we're all considered losers. You know what I mean? We're yeah. the fucking dudes sticking, you know, stuck in the hill in the, you know, the courtyard or whatever that. So for me, it's kind of embracing that, that like, you know, we're just, fuck, dude, we're a bunch of 
dudes just doing our shit. So right. tough, tough name for people. Some people to swallow, but I think it, it just represents what it's a great are. name. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. one of things great. where like I wouldn't want it to be just some fucking generic name. You know, what yeah. I mean? it's one of those things where to me, skateboarders, we're not going to be, you know, and we have our opinions on Olympics and sports and this and that. Sure. But to me, we're fucking dude. We're skateboarders, and we fucking, you know, we got we're on the ground. Like, yeah, let's yeah. fucking Get dirty. So to me, loser machines that I love it. You know, so and yeah. and I think the you know with with motorcycles and all that kind of stuff that's that comes pretty natural, I think, as you get older, you just, fuck, you still want that kind of like, you know, that feel of kind of, you know, having a little something push the boundaries. So, yeah, for me, that kind of went hand in hand, and then we just put something together, and you know, so far, it's it's good. I, I think oh. it's a good thing because we're able to kind of work different areas. We sell the Harley Davidson dealerships. Oh, yeah, wow. we sell to them. Um, you know, we hit the, you know, your actives and your, your, your Pacific drives and all that stuff, but still have some boutique, um, chopper shops and yeah. all that kind of stuff so oh yeah, be cool and we we put a big focus on our product and our graphics like there's not much hype around it and this and that it's just like you want to make good shit are you more of a car guy or a bike guy i was first more of a car guy i'd say more i'm more of a bike guy oh yeah yeah what do you got sure. right now you got a oh, knucklehead you got yeah, a pan yeah, head dude, I, got, you got, I got a couple huh? shovel heads i got shovel a yeah, okay. yeah no no yeah. so i got i'm yeah no dude bikes it's one of the things that grabbed me pretty hard yeah you know it's like fuck dude it's just and what sucks about it, though, it, it's just, you know, with, with skateboarding and having all these rad things you're into, it's like riding a motorcycle is fucking a lot easier. I mean, <laughs> like, like, sure, yeah. You know I mean, like when yeah. you get on a bike, you can go and do, what you know, whatever. And it's 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 fun. Are you the guy in the garage fixing up his bike? No, or I you wouldn't got say that. that. Early, no? on, I, early on, I was definitely that dude that like, you know, because my first bikes, I, I had, I got a shovel heads, which are the old bikes. So you have to learn how to fucking work on your shit or you're just never going to ride. You break yeah. down the side of yeah. the freeway. So, but I, I wouldn't say truck. I'm that dude that's mechanically fucking like, you know, whatever. That's right. like a John Alley, like just born in the blood. Gotcha. But for me, no, dude, I, I, I love riding motorcycles. You right. know what I mean, and and I like tinkering here and there, and that that's fun and whatever. But no, I I, I like getting on my fucking bike, turn that thing on, it runs. Hey, and there you go. We go. You know, uh, so, hey, go. that's great, bro. Well, you also have another company. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, Dark Seas. Dark Seas. Yeah, which is pretty. Yeah, yeah. Why so do you Dark have two companies? What's going yeah. on here? <laughs> good, good, very <laughs> good question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's going on? So yeah, no, Dark Seas actually started the same again with that dude Dennett. Him and I, like, um, it started, concepted probably around the same time as Loser Machine, but it never really turned into anything till probably, like, three, probably, like, four or five years ago. More so when I partnered up with Obey and all these guys or whatever. Oh, yeah. really? But okay. Dark Seas was always that for him and I, like, you know, when we came up with Loser Machine, like, man, this industry's crazy right now. It's just, it's very, you know, everybody's just doing the same shit, and it's mm -hmm. just, you do this, you do that, or whatever. And we had our take on Loser Machine, and it's like, hey, this is what we think, whatever. But... For Dark Seas, it was, you know, definitely more for Dennett. But for me, it's a little more take. Like, dude, I've always respected surfing, you know, uh -oh. and it's not something I've never gotten into, whatever. But it's, to me, in my opinion, there's never been any fucking brands that I've been stoked on, you know, that you're like, fuck, it's, it represents how cool the fucking surfing is. It's not Ooh. about contests and all that kind of shit. So this was early on. Like, and I know there's been brands that's kind of popped up or whatever. So it's, you know, it feels like you kind of jump on it, but at the same time that we came with Loser Machine, it was the same thing, especially my buddy Denny, you know, he surfs, fishes, works at like, you know, Val Surf all his life before, gotcha. before um, um, coming over to Circa. So for him, it's just like, dude, there's, you know, there's just no fucking brands out there that are cool. Like, you hmm. know, it's all about this and this and that. So Dark Seas came about and it, to me, it felt fucking rad because it was just like, dude, the name, we came about it and, you know, I was hanging out a lot in Oceanside um, at the time and had a little bit of that grit to it. Where mm -hmm. um, so, anyways, we we put that together, it was concepted and everything, but it wasn't until like maybe a few years back that we kind of peeled it out of the gra uh, catalogs because once upon a time, um, all the Dark Seas stuff was in the Loser catalog. Even we've had T-shirts oh, where it's Loser Machine okay. and Dark Seas, you gotcha. know. But it's, like it's a little, yeah. a little confusing. Yeah, though, no, it's kind of your dirty take on you know the land and sea kind of thing. You know, what right. I mean, for Loser Machine, it's like, hey, this is you know whatever, and then Dark Seas, it's you know. So anyway, so. When I did end up um, going with the Obey Camp, you know, um, down the line, we had decided that we would separate the catalogs, and it became its own thing. Gotcha. So, but um, so Dark Seas is is more of a surf brand. Yeah, or? you know, it's weird to say, but yeah, no, it is a water thing. Where honestly, okay. it, it's yeah, it is definitely a surf brand. Yeah, but it's it's much more than that. You know, what I mean, we can't be pigeonholed into that because there's sure. so many people involved in that that aren't it, including myself. Where it's just like. There has to be a skate language. There has to be certain things. We're very art driven, and it's way more like 
nautical driven through like okay. uh, flash tattoo art and and um old sailor type stuff so i don't know it, did you plan on having it more of a surf thing or did it kind of just manifest no, I mean, like that it has to be Is in the water just... it has to be addressed you know what i mean that's right. the number one in the water but for us we never wanted to be a surf brand right you know it just I mean? kind it's of just, no no and it, and i still don't you know it is what it is but yeah. at the same time dude it's like you guys you're so much more than that no uh <laughs> no, no, uh, so yeah no it, it's one of those things dude it, it's a gritty brand that i'm stoked on it oh. i think it just has like a different story language than other brand like other brands in that lane right you know so, sure and, and I think um, feels good. It's you know, one of the things where even though I'm not in the, I'm not a water dude. It's like right, I can relate. Right. To me, there's parts of it that it's just, it's it's military driven. Not saying I'm in the military, but I appreciate that kind of like yeah, the, you yeah. know that vibe and, and mm. you know so a lot of cool. skaters that surf, bro. Yeah, no, a lot of skaters no, that surf. No, absolutely, no, not for sure. You know? I, I have a question. You mentioned uh, John Alley's name a few times. What yes. what's he up to lately? He's um, he's married now, but um, that dude's like he. He's John Alley, you know. Dude, he came out when know? he came out. He blew people's minds. Yeah, he's dude. John Alley. He's yeah. crazy cat. You know, he rips, but he's a very smart dude. Like, dude, he's a gnarly mechanic. Like, really? he's one of those dudes that probably should have been born to be a mechanic as well, and, oh, okay. and whatever else. And and he's a really smart dude. Like, so um, yeah, he he's he's doing good. Is I, he he's skating? Yeah, 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 like yeah, no, like we rolled out with him probably like three months ago. Like, I'm still we have like this zero group chat and shit, and he's like. He's he's in the mix and stuff now too. Like we were went you, and rolled out with him a couple times and um Will you add me to that group <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah. I, don't know. I, I just want to know what you yeah. I just you, know what you would yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, whose number is this? <laughs> no, no, no. It's crazy. Yeah, the bad, bad like, that's bad. what I'm saying. Like I've never experienced that in my day and stuff, but like you could keep on with people's I mean, shit. I'm telling it is you, crazy. Bro. I see what's going on in the video and the whole oh, yeah. line and stuff. But no, John Alley, dude, he he's uh he's not you know, he's he's skating here and there and stuff, but um yeah, he left Slave not too long ago and just kind of felt like kind of, you know, you know yeah. just hanging out with the crew. So he's No, dude, he's mid. such a, he's, a lot of skateboarders got a lot of respect for him, man. He did, he changed oh, it. Dude. He was like the first dude to like, the flick he had in oh, the dude, shit was so gnarly. Yeah, no, dude, and that's the thing with him too. It's like, if you watch him skate right now, like if you watch him skate a flat bar, he's, he could do kick with front tails and oh, kick with back tails and all that shit. Like, that's sick, yeah, man. Super rad. Cool. Yeah. Damn. Yep. I just, this is a random question. I don't usually ask about money at all, but when you have these crazy shoes that are shoes that are selling like crazy, did you ever have a hard time, like you trip out managing money when you were like a young kid growing up? Um, no, you know, I was actually lucky with that one too. Like to this day, I still have the same accountant that I ho got hooked up with. Um, Early on, like it was actually introduced to me through, I think it was like Reynolds. Like there was this one guy that it took care of everybody. It was like Reynolds, mm. Jeff Rowley, Apple Yard, um, Bastion, like a couple heads or whatever. Yeah. So honestly, my biggest savior was hooking up with that dude early on. That's good. Because yeah. like the biggest thing we all know is like they don't take taxes out of your checks yeah. and all that mm -hmm. shit. And you're not taught that. No, no. As a skater all, growing dude, up, where, it's like nobody yeah, kicks out of school. It's no. insane. I mean, and it's one of those things where I could easily see how people would be um, tempted to just no. I maybe they won't know about that. Maybe you know sure, whatever. Where sure. I was taught pretty early on, like even even through Jamie, you know, he was gave me good advice. Where like, hey, you know, paying taxes is a good problem if you pay it. You know, if you have right. to pay big tax, you're making good money. And mm -hmm. so I always made a point to to you know pay taxes and all that kind of shit, but. Yeah, no, number one was hooking up with that dude. Yeah, I mean, I blew yeah. through a lot of money, dude. I'd fucking party my ass off like a <laughs> motherfucker. But having that dude there to kind of like divvy up what, you know, whatever right. and whatever. Like savings and but all that stuff. The, yeah. the weirdest thing yep. to me is always like you have to spend money to save money. Yeah. Isn't oh, that, it's, sure. a, it's, it's the weirdest thing. Like, uh -huh. well, you didn't spend enough this year. You got to spend, you got to yeah, spend more yeah, money. See, that, and it's that, like, that what, whole, what do I got? Okay, no, I'll buy a new TV. It's I'll funny do this. You that though, like the whole tax write off thing. Like, can I buy money? Yeah, it's the, crazy. The tax write off thing I've never really bought into. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, buying things because you need to, like, get write that it write off. off. I don't know. Yeah. I, I just never bought I never bought into that. But, um, yeah, that was a confusing factor. It's I remember, crazy. like, okay, so am I supposed to, you know, whatever. But, well, when you're making it. a lot of money, too, and in in your, you're an independent contractor wow. and everything, it's like uh, you get into the quarterlies. You know, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. you're paying your taxes yes, throughout the exactly. year and, instead and, and, of yeah, in one big no, lump. Yeah, I stuck yeah. with quarterlies. Yeah. And that was one thing where it's like, you don't want to. Whatever, and whether it's dude, whether it's five grand or whatever, you know, yeah. whatever it may, the amount it may be, 
it just sucks having to pay after Dude. the fact when you're fucking blew through all of it. So yeah. I made a point to make sure I paid quarterly. Yeah. And Cause I mean, if you're working a, a normal nine to five job, they're taking money out. Yeah, it's yeah. like, no, yeah. you're, you're, you're not really seeing it go, yeah. but if you, no. you're cutting these big checks yeah, to the government, you know, you're like, you know exactly what you fuck. want. To do. Yeah. yeah. You know what you want to do with that. Oh money. my God. Yeah. <laughs> Pay your taxes, boy. man. It's <laughs> one of those things, mm-hmm. dude. Nobody ever tells you. Yeah. You know, they just give you a check. If yeah. you're an AM, you get 500 yeah. bucks. Here you go. I'll, and you're I'll like, give, cool. Actually, you know, I, I'll thank Apple Yard for that. I think he was the first person. Like, I think he just mentioned it one day and he introduced me to my guy, Glenn, that I did. Perfect. With whatever. But yeah, Apple, Perfect. Apple Yard. Yeah, man. Oh, it's my dog. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm surprised we never bumped into each other. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, skateboarding is such a close, fit knit yep. family. I was wondering on the way up. No, that's funny. It's like, yeah, I don't really, I don't think we've all had too no. much private time. So, no. definitely no. Uh, interesting. But here's the thing, bro. Up. Thank you for coming because I know that yeah. you don't really do interviews and stuff like yeah, this. No, you don't no, really have a no, lot like of. Like I said, I'm a fan of the show. Thank you, bro. Big fan of Howard Stern. And I like the format. You guys yeah, do your thing. Yeah. And it's most things for yeah. a fuck. I was like, I could get in there. What about like printed in? interviews back in the day would you do a lot of those or yeah you know you s- i i do them but it was not my thing i don't yeah. know like dude it, I, like i said early on like i i had a different program with the zero camp where a lot of people you know they they had to go to jamie to like um you know what like hey what you know what are you doing with your photos and that okay i mean i like filming video parts yeah. you know and, and i think if an vin- interview came about I'd be stoked to have photos in the mag, but the interview part would fucking freak me out. Was it, you was it your it's bag, like, huh? Yeah, it's just kind was of one of those things you know, tough one for me on that part, but... Um, With the skating dude talking? Yeah. yeah. Were you paying attention to a lot that was going on back then, like other skating-wise? Yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't say I was like a skate nerd, but dude, I... Fuck, dude, I'm still a fan of skateboarding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things where it's like... It, I don't know. I mean, G, like GX thousand video came out. You know, it's like one of those things go. where it's like you yeah. have a hard time fucking not dude, that video was being amped. You know what I mean? Like, dude, I, yeah, I was, you know, I was in the asylum shop last Friday and then just watching it. And it's like, dude, it, it's rad to get that feeling still where you're just like, holy shit and blah, 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 whatever. So, dude, no, I'm doing a, snowboard tricks. <laughs> yeah, dude, no, like, yeah, yeah. I'm, dude, I'm a forever fan. So I think, yeah, that's a beautiful thing about skateboarding. Like, even being a part of this this zero thing, you know, where I think I trip out, like I said early on, I, I didn't realize what it was until right. after the fact or whatever, but I feel like I'm part of this like rad eternal thing where I could be a part of forever, you know, totally. as, long as, I don't, yeah. as long as I don't abuse it and, and you know, whatever, it's just like, dude, I could, you know, I could roll up the street league and hit hit a buddy up for a ticket for my sure. son or whatever. You know? yeah. oh, to me, yeah. that's rad, like to, to still be able to participate, you know, even, even being in zeros, um, group chat and mm-hmm. you know fuck i could hop in the van anytime i want you know it's the vid- zero video that's coming out in march like if i want shit in there i could have some stuff so yeah you should do that i'm cool yeah. you know i'm just stoked you should to, get some clips yeah no no yeah it's always the plan right <laughs> <Sick>. <laughs> let me get a clip out. in there we could share another video part yeah well we, we can recreate our tricks from welcome to hell let's do that you know no, no shit yeah, oh, yeah. all right I'm a ledge I skated with knob now, so I don't know. So it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's mine. yeah. So it's mine. Scratch that idea, dude. Yeah. But listen, man, dude, Kelly, we please do you want some nine club stuff? We would love to give you yes, some please. nine club and stuff. I'm sorry bro. too, it's I just... did not bring a gift. Oh um, honestly, no, 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 no bullshit. No, no. I was honestly I took my son Levi um WWE last night, Survivor Series. Oh, really? Yeah, Staples. Oh, I'm not really that oh, into it, but he's really into it, but I was meant to get you guys a little belt, just random oh, that would gift be... or whatever, like a mini leather or whatever. Oh, yeah. But by the time we left, the line was so fucking so long. Bad. I was just like, dude, you know what? Sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. No, no, no. Honestly, I was like, cool. no, no, I was like they, and I would thought even earlier on I was going to bring like some random shit that I was like, whatever. But oh, dude. Yeah, your presence here, yeah, bro. You being here is awesome. Sitting in that chair that. is our gift. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? It. Oh, thanks for having me. Thank you, bro. Kelly. What size t shirt? Uh, medium medium this has been great man hearing yeah, about all the stories from uh zero days yeah, everything. i love the fact that you bought stickers from willie santos that's oh, dude shit. i love that i can't believe i said that I love <laughs> <laughs> yeah let me ask you one more question sure. during you know misled youth thrill of it all all this stuff Ooh, did you have a favorite skater were you looking yeah. at somebody like who, who no for sure i mean um donnie barley is oh. definitely Number one, okay, um, but Ricky Oyola as well, right? Like, Ricky super Iola. huge Ricky Oyola fan. Um, not only Eastern Exposure, but that was definitely the one that fucking sealed the deal. Hmm. 
That's why I rode Ricky Ola is why I rode massive board. I, even before zero, okay, I would ride even on entity like eight plus boards. Not, I don't know, maybe that was even more fucking. I don't know for some That's whatever cool. reason. I just do the like big boards and big wheels. But when Eastern Explorers were hit, yeah, everybody in that video I was a fan of. You okay, know? I don't know, maybe I'm a West Coast kid. And I appreciate shit that's not really you know my scene, but everybody was fucking rad. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two yeah. fucking great skaters, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Jesus so, Christ, that Donnie went Barley. Off too. Yeah, the Donnie Barley. I mean, dude, I, I like dudes that you can just even watch them push and yeah. be fucking satisfied. And know? I mean that that's the, those are like men skating. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I mean? Yep. Like they're skating fast, they're yep. skating hard, and yep. they're fucking same, killing same it. Even Huff, Huff uh, push, oh, posted goes. something up, posted something the other day where it's just like. The way he pushes is yeah. like a fucking thoroughbred, like a fucking racehorse where you just, it's different than everybody else. Totally. Yeah, cool. Did you ever send a sponsor me video to Menace? No, I didn't. No? no that dude, was one I, of your I, favorites, dude, bro. I wanted to so bad. I, I could have I hooked you up with Fabian Elamar. I wanted that star sweater and fucking. Oh, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Listen, bro. Got you a nine club oh, coffee mug so here for you. That, huh? Look at that, huh? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We that. got a, oh, is this a long sleeve tea? Nice. Looks like it. Boom. Thank you. Thank you. Kelly, that. giving all our stuff away. Here. <laughs> uh, medium. Well, lace them up. Yeah, medium no, uh, hoodie. Yeah, good looks. And a nine club beanie, dude. Do you Damn. wear beanies for sure? I do, actually. You do? No, okay, no, I do. okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, sure. Perfect. Shit. Perfect. Look at that, huh? I appreciate it. Thank you, fellas. Listen, nice. if you don't, you could exchange any of that at, <laughs> at our know. warehouse in the next room. Gotcha. <laughs> you have to talk to our warehouse manager, Raj. Oh, sure. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> dude, Adrian Lopez, bro. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, bro. Raj, Thank you so much. It. You're no, the you man, dude. Thank you for coming. Hey, good luck with everything, bro. Everything. Get that couple tricks in that fucking... No, no, I will. No, no, I will. Video? no, no, I will. I will. I will. That's no, dude, like I said, dude, I'm stoked to still be a part of this whole this whole community. So once a skater, always a skater, man. Absolutely. And your kid skates? He's getting a little. He's uh, in there. No, yeah? no, he's getting in there. Okay. No, no, for yeah. sure. So yeah, that's another reason too. You know what I mean? It's does your kid know who you are? <laughs> he does, you know, it's funny. Dude. Does he know who he he daddy does, is? It's funny, dude. We yeah. went to we like uh, dude, we went to WWE last night at Staples and. To have people still come up to me, like even in that world, it trips them out. You know, it's just like, yeah. he, he, no, that's what I'm saying. It was only a couple people, but it's like, no, he, yeah, he, he loves that shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he loves At that first, shit. was he like, Daddy, what, what no, are these dude, people? He wants fucking John Cena, whoever all this oh, guy. He's sure. like, why are they, you know, coming up to you? But right. he appreciates it. So it's cool. We show him your old shit. videos and stuff. You show him, uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah I have. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for sure. yeah. Show him the thrill of it all, dying to live. I show the misled youth. Misled youth. Yeah. Uh, no, no thrill at no, all. No, right. <laughs> but yeah, listen, man, you got to come to terms with that yeah, part. Yeah, it was a great yeah, part. Yeah, no, yeah, you know, he's going to see it sooner I'm, or later. Might as well come from you, you yeah, know? Yeah, fair enough.